Good luck, mate. Go Thanks. on. Sam, good luck. Okay, George is tossing. It'll be um, Job's call. Heads, so when, when you're ready, George. Heads has been called. And tails it is. So Sam Mitchell wins Thanks the toss. Mitchell good. and Watson, so important. And the clearances again tonight. And the hard ball gets. We had a bit of rain about a half an hour ago. The crowd is building up. Matthew Richardson joins us on Friday Night Footy. Great to have you along, Richo. Thanks, Bruce. You're right. It is a little bit slippery down here. We had a light shower or two a little earlier. The clearance battle tonight in the middle is obviously going to be crucial. Hawthorne got some real form in there last week through Hodge. But the other man that I was impressed with was Sean Burgoyne. In the last quarter, he had a couple of really clean breaks. If he gets a few of those going tonight and gets it into Franklin and Roughhead, they could be in for a big night. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for that, Richo. It was interesting the clearances last week, saw two games last weekend. Friday night, Carlton dominated the clearances, got thrashed. On Saturday, Hawthorne dominated the clearances and won easily. So. Not the be-all and end-all, but it's a good start, isn't it? The umpires tonight, Margetts, Chamberlain and McInerney. And Hodge starting uh, forward. You never know where he's going to pop up, Hodge. We spoke about him pre-game, but uh, he's actually playing on the full forward line at the beginning, and Welsh... Probably will be with him the whole night, one would think, seeing he's playing defence on him. So Richo is on the boundary. Pim Watson is on assignment. Can't tell you where, but important. Start of Friday night football, and away we go. Play on! One down by Bell Chambers. Off the line, Hocking left it behind. Coming through Guira. Could have been taken high. We'll get the free kick. Guira. High tackle! Just inside the centre square. Came in strong oh, off the line. It's oh, really a strong here. part of his game. Attacked the ball well and drew the free kick early. Guerra, one of many left footers in this Hawks outfit. Beautiful kick. Not having to break stride. Roughhead took the mark. His kick not so good, but it works out okay. Osborne goes up and claims it. 45 metres out, virtually directly in front. Plays on. Plenty of skill to go to Rioli and Franklin. Still a battle after the football. Franklin. Looking for the long kick, was tackled early. Now Bateman's got it. Rioli was sold into trouble earlier. Off hands down towards the pocket. Slattery goes after it. Watson's over the football. Met solidly. Watson grabs it, tries to feed it out. Stays in. Slattery just jumps on the pack. Oh, making his head to get rid of it. So we spoke earlier in the game about Hodges coaching. He actually uh, playing forward. He blocked to allow Roughhead to get clear for that first mark. Pierce is in a bit of trouble here. Run into Burgoyne and stray elbow. We also saw a bit of a theme there. We saw Rioli around the forward uh, 50 for Hawthorne with Jetta and Davy in the same okay. area. Yeah. Still trying to work out why Osmond didn't go back and have the 45 metre shot. <laughs> he popped the hand pass to uh, Franklin, who just wasn't able to get anywhere near having the kick. So Pears is going to walk off pretty slowly with his back to this play. So the Bombers with the key defender out of this play. It's the first time since Anzac Day that Pears, Hooker and Fletcher have played in the one match. Just picking up the pieces now. So still inside the 50 for the Hawks. Osborne was the third man up and then Roughhead went without it. Slattery, quick hands to Jetta. So, the, so you heard the call, it was Jetta's free kick, Davey swooped on it and then McVeigh kicks to half forward, Ryder. Stratton's got the early job on him, a couple of Western Australians, right a clever, Lonigan, well he always kicks a goal against the Hawks, and he's done it again, fifth game, fifth goal. It was interesting then, the two Hawthorne defenders both went to Ryder yeah. and created the free man for Essendon behind screen, it was actually, a, well, Lonigan was the, was the uh, recipient of it here, we see the kick come in. It was his second effort rider, wasn't he? He was front position, now he's behind, but he got back to the footy. Yep. I mean, that was really good balance to uh, to make sure he was the one got back before mm. his Hawthorne opponent. Was that Stratton? Who was his direct opponent? Was yeah, it was Stratton. Stratton, yeah. And uh, Lonnie got, yeah, Gumbleton was the Essendon player and uh, playing on um, Sheward Makers and uh, the Hawthorne player obviously went to the contest, flicked the ball out and the run under the players from the Bombers was uh, rewarded with the goal. Good knock on. Back in the middle, Bell Chambers knocks it down. Comes out to Osborne, Bell Chambers. Now an opportunity for Mitchell. It's good by Osborne. Ball bounces down towards the pocket. Piers goes back close to the boundary line. Muston came up to meet him. Piers seems to be okay. Shrugged him off. 
Marston battling to get back onto the field of play. So a throw in. Left full forward. Renoff has been good in recent weeks. Bell Chambers works in front. Directs it down. Mitchell with a chance. Snaps. Misses. Near side. Richard. Yeah, the first two centre bounces, Lance Franklin has started on the wing and he's running his opponent around. I like that, he gets into the play early. Could have a good night if he keeps uh, getting up on about early. So Winderlich with the fancy boots at half back. And down the line, that's out I think, or Lonigan. Yep. Just got caught on the wrong side there, which uh, went to straighten up with his See, right foot. See, that's interesting. He said the Birch is going to make an attempt to get it. Lonigan threw the ball fair way over his head. And Birchall's kicks a good one. Osborne sliding into it. I feel like Osborne's getting back to where he was in 08, don't you? Seven goals in the last four weeks. That's a good return for him. He's a feisty customer. Kicks the ball inside the 50. Rough head. And dodgy too easy. Pairs out position. Watson is coming in. Just looked a little unsure. Joe Watson is the third man flying in. That was happening again tonight. Like you always wonder why they use Dustin Fletcher. They're not using Fletcher on Roughhead. They're using Fletcher on uh, Skipper. On, uh, Skipper. On Skipper's. Uh, With the mark tape. Thank you. It's a uh, distinct competitive advantage. You'd reckon Hawthorne would have the marking Paris in the uh, inside the forward 50. He's 13, 14 in set shots, Roughhead, this year. And so he's going at about 47% from set shots. Lee started, I know he started on Skipper well, Fletcher. He's on Muston right at the moment. And you, you would think if uh, Ruffhead's yeah. playing deep that Fletcher would uh, would take him. But anyway, they often use him to probably do this, to run off the fence. Got it from Jetta, drives it out towards right half forward. Ryder, bit of a fumble close to the boundary line. Keeps it in, that's his forte tonight. Knocking it, looking for support from Gumbleton with the football Murphy. Boots the ball, advances at about 10 metres. Osborne. As he hand passed, he was saying, you're hot. Renoff did well to give it back to him, though. That's a beautiful kick out wide. Burgoyne, here's trouble. Franklin runs to the 50. This is not beyond him, but too narrow. And through it goes for a minor score. Interesting, you're talking about Roughhead. He made his debut against the Bombers, round 305. And his very first opponent in that game was the man who's got the football now, Dustin Fletcher. But not tonight, at least for the moment. Fletcher kicks in outside the 50. Clever. Knocked on by Guira. Still Hawthorne over the football. Ladson this time. Zaharakis. Watson. Bounces one across to Lonigan. Can't find a way through. Sewell is a hard man to move. Sewell goes after the football. Umpire Chamberlain will ball it up. The skies are clear at the moment, but no doubt there's still obviously a bit of moisture on the ground. The players have uh, lost their feet on a few occasions. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Joy. Wise of the footy. Bill Chambers and Renneth. Oh. Now Hodge. So much talked about him in the lead-up. Murphy. Mitchell. Been busy early, Mitchell. Smooth. Kicked a half forward. Oh. And Slattery able to ping that off against Ellis. Ellis looked good last week. Oh, against the Crows. Love it, Murray. Love it, Murray. Clever handball by Hodge. So, Bill Chambers and Renoff again. Burgoyne, well, Richo talked about him in the clearances. Now he gets inside 50. That's a clever kick. Well, Mustard couldn't quite find the footy. I reckon he'd set it up pretty well for him. And the Hawks with four scoring shots, but not a goal yet. Fletcher to himself and drives it out very wide. Pears. He's marked it right half back. Play on's the call. Pretty tough. Melksham looking to find a way through. Barely got away. Out against the boundary line. Beckons someone to come. Loops it over the top. Good to see Hooker back. Hodge almost got him. Hooker spins out of trouble. Nicely worked by Welsh. Pears pushing up the ground. Now it's Hurley. Just backing off. He's on the wing. No one came to him. He kicks it down towards half forward. Showing makers. Gumbleton did well. Just got it on the ground. McVeigh feigns a hand pass. 55 metres out. Stanton should run into an open goal. Not required. Not required. It bounces through. Essendon get their second. Well, it finished up exactly where he wanted it through for a goal. But that <laughs> kick off the boot, you thought, how the hell is that ever going to go through for a goal? But... Uh, whether he, uh, let's have a look at it off the outside of his uh, his left foot. It's wobbling all through the air when it eventually gets to uh, it gets to McVeigh. 
And it bounces, it always here. bounces straight on a wet day. Yeah. But it just wobbles off his boot. It was just, a real, <laughs> just a, an amazing, amazing trajectory. And you take them all. Well, in the last five weeks, Hawthorne have been the most efficient team at scoring once they go inside 50. They've been going at over 50% tonight. They're doing that again, but they're not scoring goals. Essendon have gone in twice, two goals. Well, that footy looked awful through the air. Oh! And perfect once it hit the ground. Absolutely. It? it bounced beautifully. So, Richo makes a good point. Twice inside the 50 for a couple of goals. The Bombers, they jumped the Hawks in the earlier match this year when they... Beat them comfortably here at the MCG. They had a big last quarter that night as well. Mitchell again with a possession. That kick to half forward. Again, Ellis a target. Got the numbers. Use. It was a poor handle, actually. Oh, had to stop. And now yours. Did Young. And then back in Lance. And that's better. Now Ellis should go. Well, we've had five gettables, you'd reckon, wouldn't you? Yeah. Got to be able to score. It's the... Uh, it's the most critical part of the uh, the game, the ability to convert from opportunities. It seems at the moment we, we're so used to seeing Hawthorne play this full ground zone defence. They're playing very much a one-on-one -on -one man game of football at the moment. As a result, contested possessions early, 13 to 6 in favour of the Hawks. So winning the one-on-one -on -one contest. McVeigh over the head of Gumbledon. Opportunity for show and makers. McVeigh anxious to make amends, did well, kept coming. Gumbleton deflects it out of bounds. We've got a boundary throw in right on the 50. They look much more balanced, better balanced, don't they, Hawthorne, with Skipper being the yeah. second Ruckman rather than having to That's make way, shift with rough head or players like that. Skipper in front. No, the Ruckman touched the ball. Rioli, quick silver, goes down towards the pocket. What a beautiful kick. Off balance, checked. And virtually from a stationary position has threaded the ball to this man, Franklin. It's almost the exact opposite. We saw Winderlick about five minutes earlier, slightly off balance and drew the kick and kicked the ball out of bounds on the full. Cyril Rioli on his left foot, straight and had enough awareness and balance to execute the skill. So it's an exquisite kick into the forward 50. It's just left, right, doesn't matter which way he yep. turns. Franklin shuffles around, goes Goldwood. As we said, he loves playing against these bombers. He's off. Well, it was Surioli's form. He, he uh, came into some great form last week with uh, 27 possessions, three goals. Looked very life lively so far around the half-forward line. Just so dangerous, I mean, when you've got uh, a talent like that in and around a stoppage situation, and then to execute the skill the way he does, uh, he, such a vital play. He just gets in and out of congestion so yeah. quickly, doesn't he? Just one, two steps, bang, all of a sudden, he's right from the bodies into space. his 50th match of the MCG tonight for Buddy. He's kicked 164 goals here. So a little bit better than his career average of three. He's right on the button with three. But as we said, against the Bombers, he just laps it up. 32 goals in his last five coming in. And Rioli again. So important with the ball in hand. And now you do have uh, Fletcher on Franklin. And then Muston hooking back. That's a good kick. That's a magnificent kick. Buddy-like. Well, we're seeing it now. We're actually seeing Fletcher go to Franklin. And you get the feeling Mustin was actually uh, instructed to do a roll on Fletcher. So he's trying to create yeah, the, uh, the out number. Um, Fletcher's gone to Franklin, drew the ball. Mustin's the one who's been left over with it and uh, kicked the ball out the back. So you see the contest here between uh, uh, Franklin and Fletcher. As a result, Mustin's got free and a uh, fantastic goal. That was some goal. Here it is again. The fifth of his career, I dare say, the best of them. Just getting it through. Big, bad, bustling bow. They make that oval ball talk, don't they? The <laughs> they have moves. tonight. Yeah. All starts in the centre. Four zip centre clearances to the Hawks. Seven scoring shots to just two. Reflected in the balance of play. Watson, though, trying to change that. Sewell, right in his hip pocket. Mitchell just lays it off to Sewell. He kicks well inside the forward 50. Fletcher missed the footy. At the back, under pressure, the clearing kick came from Atkinson. It bounces up towards the 50, coming through nicely. Wendelet, Watson, little chip to midfield, opens up the rider who decides not to go, but spots Hurley moving to open space, running alongside Stanton, uses him as a decoy, looked that way, then kicks it back towards full forward. Gumbleton outnumbered, hands to it, falls in front. Opportunity for the Hawks, gathering the ball. Guerra, he was led. Low tackle. Just, just a couple of matchups. Bateman looks like he's trying to Tom take uh, the Stanton matchup, who's 
tends to be the first Essen outside run or tag. Well, Guerra's had two free kicks, one a high tackle and one a low tackle. They haven't quite got him yet. <laughs> <laughs> Muston. Watson got him. And now Prismal, clever enough, but just couldn't quite get the handball to Hocking's advantage. Winderlick almost as good as a kick, belted it forward. Davy clever. Ball to be one. Davy very clever. Watson on the up. Can't quite get it there. Milsham coming in. Free kick. Whoa. 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 Speaking of the matchups, the one. Brother Bory. I guess. The one the Bombers really need to sort out is the uh, is the Fletcher Fletcher Mustard matchup. Getting clearly confused and Mustard getting off the leash. Franklin. With Fletcher standing the mark. Now here's Mustard. Atkinson closing. Mustin, Atkinson. Atkinson reversed the rolls. These two out in the wilderness out there on the wing. Well played. Now an opportunity. The hand pass came from Welsh to Prismal. Prismal to half four. Beautiful kick. Davy on the end of it. 45 metres out directly in front. The little man goes up and marks of a mark. And that's what Brent Prismal adds to the mess in Essendon midfield. Has been criticised for being slightly one-paced. But a uh, fantastic kick always has been. Yes. He's perfect from set shots this season. Nine from nine. The smallest man in the Essendon forward line is the one making gone. himself a marking target. The little, the little guys don't only want to crumb it these days. He's been improving by the week. Steps to the 50. Kick is on the way. Make it 10 out of 10. <laughs> right, Derek. Fantastic efficiency, isn't it, by Eston? They've yeah. only been inside 55 times for three straight goals, so that's keeping them keeping them really close on the scoreboard when in most facets of the game Hawthorne have been well on top. Yeah, clearly the dominant side in the early stage of the game but um, as Richo mentioned earlier before efficiency is key and Hawthorne have been very efficient in the past uh, five or so weeks. Um, would be ruining the, uh, the missed shots early, two goals five. Lee, he's not quite Cyril Rioli, Davey, but he's kicked 16 goals like Rioli this year. Plays something yeah, similar, doesn't well, he? Well, his tackling pressure is critical in the Eston forward line, apart from his ball getting, but there's not too many Cyril Riolis no. in the competition. I just hope they both go for the same footy tonight. Yeah. It'll be a contest. Anyway, we're back to a one-point game. The Bombers so efficient going forward at the moment. There's Rioli with a toe poke. Hodge getting onto it and then getting tackled by his marker in Welsh. And, of course, Rioli's actually played centre square for the majority of the game, so uh, that's, that's a slightly unusual positioning compared to the normal forward third role he plays. He was one of a number of players who kicked three last week. Burgoyne to Hodge and then back to Guerra. And then Guerra's kicks a beauty. Now Saul's been able to get off Watson here. It's about 80 metres from goal. He's got Franklin on a, a short one. He's going to go to the pocket. Rough head, two cracks that it couldn't quite. Brings pairs down in the tackle. Hooker's handball was fierce. And we go down to you, Richo. Just been watching Dustin Fletcher and Bo Muston. And Muston's playing Dustin like a defender. He's niggling him. He's annoying him. Dustin's been in such great form. He's a key to keep out of the game for the Hawks. Muston and Dustin. <laughs> Boundary throw in about 55 metres out. One down by Skipper. Stolen away by Watson. The Skipper, who kicks it towards midfield. Clever mark by Young. Quality player. Young. Another lazy kick. Just setting it up inside the ball. And 50. How about that? Oh, how about that? Velcro. There must be some part of the game he doesn't do so well. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Every aspect of the game, getting, disposing of it, chasing and pressuring. It doesn't look like we're going to find out what that aspect is so far tonight. Well, it deserves a goal. Rioli, wonderful mark, comes in and hits the post. He's probably aiming for it. Mark, wait! His protection of the footy there was brilliant, wasn't it? So that little pocket, he, that kick earlier tonight, and then a wonderful mark. He looks up and about, doesn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's got the X factor, hasn't he? They've got a couple on their forward line like that. But he's something special as Rioli. Now Mitchell to Muston. And Muston brought down. 
the ground first. Got to be careful, OK? So don't be tackled, head into the ground. You've got to be careful. Dustin, just a metre back, please. It's a contentious one, that one. I think, I think as a coach, you probably... I know the vicinity of where the free kick's been given, but you probably wouldn't mind the intent. Well, I'm clear on that one. He ran him into the ground. Definite free kick. But I'll get off my hobby horse. <laughs> so Mustin's kick to the goal square. Ruffhead was in the front spot. McVeigh searches. Good hip and shoulder. Osborne. Franklin, well done. Brilliant. And then on the wrong side, Young kicks it home. Spending a lot of time in their forward 50 hall. The 13 inside 50s, that is, to... Uh, uh, sorry, th yeah, 13 inside finishes Hawthorne to 5 Eston, which is a fair indication of the flow of the game. That's the stuff you really like to see there, Osborne playing that old-fashioned, unsociable Hawks football that has been missing, particularly in the first half of, uh, or the first six or seven rounds. The Hawks have actually been one of the better-performed sides since about round or seven or eight, and that's the kind of thing they bring to the table. Young got the goal, but certainly Osborne set it up. Wonderful bump. Well, this was it, earlier. The dumping tackle, and he also lands on his back. I don't know. For me, that should always be a free kick. And that's the finish. Back on the side tonight, Clint Young. Ran off. Dangerous place to put it. Welsh fed it back, but only as far as Lewis. Gave it to Hodge. Kicks it out towards the wing. Packed out of mid-air wide by Melcham. Prismo. Davey looking to go back inside. Just gets away. Melcham calls for the footy. Prismal moves to open space, but that's a terrible kick. Out of bounds on the floor. It's a dangerous kick when you're stationary and almost leaning back, aren't you? Which the kid was there. Here's Rioli in the back half. He's going to hunt the line looking for Franklin. Hooker, first game back for five weeks for Hooker, but he's got the job on Franklin. It's got to contest there. I think Hooker will be OK in the air, but I think at the ground level, second, third efforts, mm. that, that's where Franklin's agility might really trouble him. But Tom, he's got a history against Franklin. He's the guy they normally he go to, doesn't he? <clears throat> Here's Lewis trying to barge his way through. Winning the clearances early, the Hawks. Held in. He's a tough nut, is Hawking. He got cut up a bit last week against the Cats. And the, the big cut across the face, but uh, he keeps going. Here's Winderlich. Back to Hawking. Yeah. Had to be careful. Back inside. Some danger here. Love it, Murray. Atkinson had to stretch. Now he's running. Couple of bounces. Likes the situation. Three bounces. Now he slowed down. Wonderful chase. Osborne kept coming. Tell you what wasn't so good, Dennis. That uh, block by Lonigan. He had the chance to really impede the chase a little bit before that one. Yeah. I mean, if that effective tackle, he would have been off. Effective shepherd, he would have been off. Fantastic intent from Osborne. I mean, that's great vision to see the, the drive and determination to stick the tackle. They're just on it at, at the moment. Contested possessions currently sitting at 29 to 14. The Hawks look like they've brought the intent to the table. Paid a mark to Roughhead inside the 50. So Osborne, with that chase and run down in midfield, sets it up for this man. And, of course, going back to their last goal, it was the bump from Osborne that got rid of McVeigh and set up the goal for Young. And this is Hawthorne's 14th inside 50. They've only been averaging 12 a quarter so far. Signs are very good. So, rough head from right on the 50. Looks pretty good. No, just off to the left behind. What do you think about that, Fletcher? I mean, it seems to me Fletcher's a really good match matchup yep. for Ruffhead. The game I remember, like, we had uh, it was Essen Western Bulldogs. Fletcher went to Hall. It was a great matchup. Hall kicked five. He's played off halfback. Correct. I'd be more inclined to run with that. Muston's the one who's throwing the spanner in the work. He's uh, he's running a pretty hard tag on Fletcher. Yeah, but that's because Fletcher's not going to Ruffhead. If he went to Ruffhead, Muston's got no opponent. So Slattery with a couple of careful kicks out in the back half looks for Hook, and that's a strong mark. Quick give, not sure if Watson was ready for that, had to backtrack. Oh. Now they're in a bit of trouble. Hooker, that uh, quick handball didn't really no. give Watson much of a chance. And now Burke, and that's uh, not a bad kick, I thought, giving Mustard some hope. But Mustard playing that pesty role on Fletcher at the moment. Kicked a goal, which is a real bonus. Ruffheads miss a moment ago. He's 13 16 from set shots this year, Ruffy. So well under 50% now. 0 2 tonight. Skipper almost had a second crack. Hooker 
Atkinson. Left foot, well, they've got the numbers here, and Showmaker takes an easy mark. He'll bang them back in. One of the things I like about the Hawks at the moment is this one-on-one -on -one defense mentality. The uh, they Bombers look up and they're a one-on-one -on -one contest alive and the Hawks are winning those. Skipper gave a good contest. It falls behind though. windelex has got it. He's in the back pocket. Drives it out of defense. One-on-one -on, -one on the outer side. Jetta just backs into his opponent. And that's a soft free kick. Jetta against Stratton that time. Melcher. Well, he's running far and wide moments ago. He kicked it out on the full on this side of the ground. Hand pass untidy behind Jetta. Chance to make amends. Melcham. Wendell exiled into trouble. Melcham had five minutes. In goes Lewis, but he's a talented youngster. Meantime, forced forward. Burgoyne got it from Ellis. Short one, Mustard almost. Goes after it. Down goes Skipper. Bell Chambers did well. Hawking, Fletcher. And now Stanton, McVeigh cruising past. You're right, Dennis. Bill Chambers was very good there. He was sort of last man standing with that hip and shoulder. Stanton gets it back from McVeigh. Davey. Good target, Davey, at the moment, it's isn't he? Bridge. He's the most likely when they go forward. Too far out here. No, no, I wouldn't want him to be a marking forward. I no. don't think that too often, Bruce. <laughs> he's about my height, Luke. Yeah. But he's a better mark. <laughs> Jenner. Not quite. Welsh, that's a good-looking kick. Needed the right bounce. Right to the square. Oh. Ooh, Bateman back. And then Bateman's handball was a bit clumsy, but Franklin could get away here. Now Mitchell's trying to lure someone to him, but went back to Bateman. Whoa, poor kick. Melsham couldn't quite. Winderlick back inside. Love it, Murray. Back to Scumbleton. He had to ride the bump. It'll be a ball up. Good, re good result for Hawthorne in there. They had to be really patient with the ball. The work rate's enormous. All the players pushing into the defensive 50. Obviously had some no, uh, no targets across half forward and through the wing to kick the, kick the ball to. Went off in front, directs it down. Mitchell, little one-two there. Nicely worked with Roughhead. Comes to Lewis, who drives it to the outer side. Rioli, he just paid the mark. Rioli from the wing just lays it into the path of Mr. Dangerous. Franklin wheels around from on the boundary. There's no teaching that. There is no teaching that. It's all about feel and all about brilliance. It's, it's almost Franklin's best scoring zone when he's left foot to the boundary line and around the 50 metre line. He, he tends to have a slightly uh, right to left curve on his kicking. I mean, this was just the fantastic mobility yeah uh, again i think hooker will match him in the genuine contest but that ability probably the ball just curved a little right to left over the collar but that's a great finish just have a look at the work rate here of uh, lance franklin we often see the key forwards leading hard towards the ball but the space he's put on kale hooker running back towards the goal is uh, is almost the reverse lead and we know he can do this sort of yeah. stuff from outside 50. Uh, Rank, uh, franklin rioli avenues to goal looking very dangerous and rioli to franklin twice tonight yep. two goals so they've kicked four of the last five the hawks love it murray in board Winderlick, watson he rode it okay, got away from Lewis. Oh, great smother, Saul. Second effort, so important there. Birchall. Oh, Grant Birchall, you had your right arm over his shoulder. Grant Prismal free kick. High tackle. So Prismal didn't play last week against the Cats. Not sure if he was disappointed in the end. Now McVeigh, about 70 metres from goal, kicks, well, poorly. And Murphy hey, cut it off. Improved player this year, Thomas Murphy. He unluckily on, missed out in the, in the 08 GF. And Taylor were probably the two that, that played a lot of footy that year. Back in board, Melsham. Rough head, feeds it forward. Ran off over the top. Sewell has been terrific. Hocking. That's a throw. 13 points the margin. Two and a half minutes out from quarter time. Hocking's got the football. And the Bombers have got a few problems. Hocking comes across the ground. Hooker pushing up, little chip out wide looking for Winderlick, will he take Mitchell on? No he won't. So Winderlick about 75 metres out, just lobs it over the top, honours the lead from McVeigh, a goal earlier. 55 metres out, 
Now, Bell Chambers is back. Gumbleton and Bell Chambers, the targets down there. Gumbleton came to the footy. Jetta, deep in the pocket, tackled. Birchall swung in, kicked lobs in the air. Forced back there by Murphy, and he concedes a behind. I spoke about it a couple of times tonight. It looks like Hawthorne are happy for Roughhead and Franklin to push right up field. So Mustard's allowed to play deep yep. because Fletcher wants to play back 50. It's an interesting uh, sort of tactical battle of how do we use our, uh, our forces. So Young going for distance. Renner for the back with the rider and now Pears takes Renner on and then gets back to about 20 metres. Lonigan outnumbered. Or oh, Jetta was lurking just over Renner. Showing makers to Ladson on the right side for him. But he doesn't want to give it up. He had nowhere to go. And then in close quarters, Roughhead. Osborne hacks it away. Fletcher attacks it. That's a free. Finding a man, Dustin Fletcher. Probably a good call by Mustard because if Fletcher had got up ahead of steam, he might have been able to lob it close to the goal square. Now Fletcher hooks back to set a half forward. Watson worked out of it. Ellis punches it away. Hodges half volley. And then Hawking getting hold of it. A handball into congestion. Hurley couldn't quite go through with it. Hawking gets it back. Melsham gets it back. Watson back in board. Hurley. Are they running out of ideas? I think so. Watson has it stripped of him. McVeigh, Franklin hip and shoulder. Oh. Barges his way through. Oh, fantastic. Birchall across the ground. Kept his head. Osborne. Down to 45 seconds now. It's a real chance. Hawthorne controlling the footy. The Massive back. work rate. Look at this. Franklin moments ago was <laughs> to charging through to the it. middle. Yeah, it was the move of a tired man right there. He was a battering ram moments ago. Lewis, though, to Birchall. Goes looking for the big guy. Renner for a half forward. We're down to 25 seconds. In better hands now, Burgoyne. Mustard runs to the square, but Burgoyne, best advised to go back and take the kick. He couldn't actually get that second possession, Franklin, <laughs> but that speed and power to yeah. bust through about three people and then sprint 80 metres to uh, be the next target was uh, was terrific play. That one just breaking through the contact. They're going goalless is a hawk. After the siren, the margin 12 points. This could really hurt. Burgoyne from 45 metres out, and he puts it through. Big finish to the turn. They started well, and they've surged home. And the Hawks, I think, serving notice to the Bombers. Quarter time on Friday Night Footy. It's the Hawks 37 and the Bombers 19. What a time, Friday night football, and these Hawks lead it by 18 points. Joined now by Nick Maxwell, and Nick, you were taking a close look at Cyril Rioli in the first term. What did you make of him? Yeah, I know that uh, Harry O'Brien and he's Shaw and Alan Toovey, they'll be happy that he's actually spending more time in the midfield, but the problem you have then is that he's delivering it to the forwards instead of uh, being the uh -huh. one marking them. So his clearance has been sensational, as you can see here, just kicking it uh, lace out for Buddy out of the centre as well. And uh, he's had three goal assists in the first quarter, so um, he's just been outstanding. And, and then he goes forward and takes contested marks like that, so he can do it all. That is I a think, fantastic mark, Oh, it, it is, and I think the way that they really have to play him is to off the ball really prevent him from getting to the contest. If you can limit the amount of contest that he actually gets to through physically pushing him around and trying to move him off the line, that's the only way to beat him because he's a very good player. And speaking of roles, Bo Mustin, what's his cape? He's playing a defensive role on Dustin Fletcher, which is uh, trying to keep him away from Buddy Franklin and Ruffhead to be that third man across, which he's very good at. Fair to say the sign's ominous for the Bombers right now. Yeah, I hope uh, for the Bombers' sake the Hawks don't start kicking straight because mm. uh, they're looking very good. Big quarter coming up. Let's go back to Bruce. Good stuff, Dennis, with the Collingwood captain, Nick Maxwell. They were almost rattled, I think, at times in that first quarter, the Bombers. Yeah, well, they, they went forward and kicked goals. That was the, got the scoreboard a little bit respectable. Kept in the game. But uh, they really were, were struggling from the beginning. It's the contested possession. I'm loving the one-on-one -on -one football that the Hawks are playing at the moment. And just getting the ball inside 50. If they go over the, the rate they're going, they can finish with 76, which is astronomical numbers. They probably won't do that. But a uh, worrying sign for Essen is that they actually do allow opposition inside 50s. The second can see the second most in the competition of 55. So if the Hawks can push that up towards sort of 60, game over. Turnover's just too high for the Bombers in the opening term. It was. So 19 to 11 inside 50s in that first quarter in Hawthorne's favour. You just get the feeling that uh, they're starting to get the chemistry back. We've mentioned Rioli delivering the ball to, uh, 
to Franklin. I like the, like the role of Mustin as well. So testing time here for these Bombers. Lead the opening goal. Rucks go at it. Bill Chambers perhaps stolen away by Windelick. Kicks inside the forward 50 in front. Gumbleton crumbed by Hurley. Davy is through. 45 metres out. Green start. Oh, not exactly. Clear. The width of the post. The fat bit. And the fat bit is Very wider than here, okay? that man. He's been dangerous. Their best forward so far by a fair margin. We're at to bring it in. Little side foot. Whoops. Takes on Jennett, gets past him too. That's a lovely kick. Lewis, Mitchell to space, lunging at it. Renoff, it bounces out of bounds through the interchange gates. Let's go down to Richard. Well, Buddy's the everywhere man tonight. He started that quarter at the centre-half forward line and charged in the middle. Then he was back on the half-back line. Now he's just running past the stoppage. This is when he plays his best, when he's on the move. And he's certainly up and about, no question about that. Watson, clever handball to Prismal. And then Prismal has to go down the line. Hurley worked underneath. Welsh, Hurley, handball ineffective. Murphy goes back to Hodge. Had a quiet opening term, Hodge, but he'll build, you reckon. Holding the ball, advantage! So the advantage to Prismal. No, it's coming back. No, no advantage. Good Bring call, I think. Had the handball come off inside, it would have been the advantage. But Just send the ball back up, please. You mentioned Hot Hodge, just the one kick so far in the game. and I mean, that's an ominous sign in itself that he hasn't actually exerted his, uh, his presence on the game so far for the Hawks. Wow. So Davey just concedes a bit of ground yeah, to McVeigh. And then McVeigh similarly across the ground appears. Just how poised can the Bombers be here? How Can they hold their nerve because they're behind on the scoreboard, obviously, and they not much has gone right for them so far. It's not good. To shorten Bell Chambers went to ground. Prismal high tackle. And now the advantage given in good hands with Davy. And Davy's kick is a beauty inside. Well, he does play the reality role for them, doesn't he? Creates and delivers. And now going to get it back from Ryder. Oh dear. You'd think there'd be some ill communication between the Hawks defenders. There's a bit of looking around saying who Guerrero might be his direct opponent, but he had Jettles. I think uh, uh, Guerreras uh, might have been just covering on Jeddah, but uh, didn't get covered for in return. <laughs> He's 10 for 10 from set shots. He was uh, scored from about 50 metres straight in front in the first term. So Bateman and Stanton. That's a sign in itself, I think, Bruce, to be honest. The unsociable Hawks. Is it going to come back? No, he spoilt that record, so they needed it badly. Davey with a couple of behinds in the second term. Still, he's got 16 goals for the season. Drafted from South Adelaide. And Bateman's got the stat in matchup. Sometimes I think you've got to fight back a little bit and make yep. an issue of it a little bit early because just at the moment, Stanton's actually not getting it compared to Bateman. We're a straight down the middle. Renoff was up. Mitchell at his feet. Franklin feeds it out. Burgoyne wide is still. Roughhead goes down towards half forward. Slow kick. Over committing there was Pears. Lewis does brilliantly. And the mirror image of Alan Davey at the other end, or vice versa. Rioli's got it about 20 metres out. They're certainly pushing up and trying to run back Hawthorne. That, uh, they had all their players pretty up front of the centre square. You see Rioli left the camera. He's the one streaming for Hooker's trying to cover for him, but I don't think anyone would have been able to uh, make up that ground. You saw that overcommitment. Best thing to do sometimes is accept you won't get there and stand the mark. As it is, Rioli pops it through for a goal. 43 plays 21. Usually Rioli, I suspect Hodge hasn't been in the centre square a whole lot to this point of the game. I mean, mainly Rioli's been in there. I suspect they might have said, well, Hodge, they'll expect him to be in there. They'll probably tag, which they are with Welsh. They might not expect... Uh, we only to be in there, so it just changes the expected matchups in the centre square. Well, there's a great bit about that passage of play with the names involved in the Hawthorne build up. There was Franklin, Ruffhead, Mitchell, Hodge, Lewis, Rioli. Looking forward to that, the captain and the coach in an interview at half time. So. And, and another coach that's actually coaching from the interchange. Yeah. Now, you can't get the aerial perspective from down there, but a lot of coaches believe at least you can work with the interchange players who are coming on off all the time. Did you ever try it, Lee? No, couldn't see the game. So Mitchell back inside, Burgoyne. It's all working for the Hawks at the moment. Hooker had to really search for it. He did well there, Hooker. 
kept some control of the footy and then the handball back inside to Lonigan to Atkinson and then Atkinson to centre half forward Hurley just well done there by the Hawks by Gillam he actually got around the front of uh, Hurley put him off and it was an easy mark for Murphy Guerra keep thinking back to that Osborne chase of Atkinson how yeah, important yeah. that was in the Force. opening term and then Young's probing long kick to Rinoff well done Fletcher belting it away and a boundary throw in I tell you Matthew Knights will be thinking about Lonigan's failure to Shepherd. well he will be it's a matter of just all the better perspective isn't it Thanks, Joe. Margin point. 22 points then boundary throw in right full forward at the punt road end Going nowhere as Melchior just tied up as the ball came from hands. Speaking about the Lonigan effort and then the Osborne effort, they were very, they were very tangible. You can see them on the screen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure they'll be brought up midweek. Both sides. Bell Chambers and Renoff and over the top. Osborne thumps at Goldwood. Here's a chance for Welsh. Head down, picks it up eventually, attracts a crowd, tries to feed it out over the football is Prismal. Bombers very lucky as we heard Gary O'Donnell say at quarter time to be so close. The margin then was 18 points. It's got a little larger thanks to that Rioli goal. Ruckman lock up. Bell Chambers slaps it down. Body strength from Hodge. Clear the path. It comes across towards Ellis. Brilliant hand pass over the shoulder. Bouncing one towards full forward is Franklin. In the road though Dustin Fletcher. Down goes Franklin and that hurt. His all points is Fletcher. Ball comes back towards the wing meantime. Schoenmakers knocked it in front. Jetta knocks it forward. Sewell across the pack. Opportunity for Gillam. Well played. Got it across to Mitchell. Ran off at close quarters. Stratton. Murphy under pressure. Moved at about five metres. Rioli tried to knock it to Mitchell in the opposite direction. Welsh comes across to Lonigan. He bounces out of trouble. Could have been taken high. Wonderful pressure by Hawthorne. Forced the error. Burgoyne towards full forward. Up goes Fletcher. Rough hit, had it, then lost it. Piers in his hip pocket. Great pressure by the Bombers. Muston came again. Slapped it towards goal. <laughs> oh, take a seat. Down went Franklin. Franklin comes again. Eventually Atkinson. Great, Great stuff, Dennis. <laughs> Terrific call to Lewis. Back he goes to Ellis. And then Ellis's little oh, one for oh. Skipper. <laughs> Henry, <laughs> take a breath, Dennis. It was frantic. <laughs> I'm not sure whose heart rate's high at the moment, buddies or Dennis's. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a knee in the hip. Thank you, mate. I know he's capable of getting it high. Four one's in his 20s and one's in his... Um... All right, all right. <laughs> right on the hip pointer there. They can really sting and hang around. Good on you. So, Skipper, who, like Burgoyne, hasn't played in a losing Hawks team so far this year. Well, he had a chance there to stretch the margin. One of the things, the Bombers have just been denied time and space, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Hold! They're being strangled at the moment. Yeah. They're feeling pressure all the time. And it's real pressure. Melsham. Oh, and Davey gets on to Saul. And then Saul places the ball over the line. One of the really simple coach, coaching tools is when you're watching a game back on the vision, you just see the numbers around actually in the screen. And at the moment, it's, uh, it's the Hawthorne team in the brown and gold uh, dominating the screen. Skipper won the tap. Hodge and Saul. He's a real bullet of gators and he saw the kick to M uh, Mitchell's advantage. And then brilliantly done by Franklin and then Young just across and hitting the behind post. So creative, Franklin, on their forward line tonight. Great point you made too, Bruce. It's not in third pressure, it's the real thing. The yeah. real McCoy that Hawthorne are throwing at the Bombers. And the Bombers tried to match it, but when they get in tight, in close, in the trenches, generally it's Hawthorne who prevailed. Now Melksham in space on the outer side. A man having his best season, Lovett Murray. Feeds it across to Lonigan. He's been industrious. Kicks inside the forward 50. Quick transfer. It's Murphy. Backed himself to Mark. Goes after it. Finds the footy on the ground. Davey immediately found him. Trying to hack it out of there with Schoenmakers. Picking it up, Bell Chambers. Delusions of adequacy. He bounces the ball out of bounds in the pocket. Tom Murphy's making some really sharp defensive decisions. He's playing a one-on-one -on -one, uh, game against the Eston Four, but picking the exact right time to uh, drop off his opponent to help out in the air. the third man up. G. Lewis read the right attack beautifully, and then Hodge, Skipper, Davey, 
Tries to get it out, Prismal down low. Has to release now, I think he's gone. No, Lonigan, and now it'll be a ball up. So da Davey, Davey's the key here, isn't he? He's the one that's so quick and capable. Hodge, wounded. Doesn't like to show pain too much, Hodge. Stanton, who's been very quiet, goes back to McVeigh. He's kicked one miracle goal tonight, and again, unfortunately, that time, missing. It's half the score now, 3-4 to 6-8. As so you mentioned, though, Tom Murphy's got the uh, Davies matchup, but he's prepared to leave Davey in the air and, mm. and go third up. He's been really effective helping his fellow uh, tall defenders, hasn't he? And that's a confidence issue. You know, when you're playing on a dangerous forward and you have the confidence in your, in your own performance to help out your teammates, it's a good sign for the, for the team. Ladson out of the back pocket towards the wing. Skipper got a hand to it, falls behind. Osborne goes in. Look at him burrow, Osborne. Tenacious by Osborne, tries to release it to a teammate, sent it in the direction of Ellis, and Ellis gets the free. Osborne is having a good, good night. Not showing necessarily on the stat sheet. Kicks into the man on the mark, Slattery. It bounces up towards the wing. Osborne has just moved in that area. He appeared to be taken high. There was no free kick. That's because we got a better view than the umpire. Richard? Yeah, Luke Hodge has just gone down inside Fort 50. He's got a massive corky, I'd say, and he really needs to get off the ground. He's been limping around for a couple of minutes. Had a good shot of him there. Ryder won the tap. Getting down low was Lewis and then Burgoyne with Watson. That was terrific by umpire Chamberlain, too. He did apologise, saying he didn't see it. Well, you can't expect any more from umpires, can you? They are sponsored by APSM, Dennis. You know, pay, you can't see everybody's more. right vision. You can't see through bodies. Well, at Lee's got a good theory. I read about it this week on how we can fix all this, but we haven't got time right now. Burgoyne's kick. Fletcher, good stretch. That was a good mark. I missed it. What is it? Taller umpires. <laughs> taking three hours to tell you. Uh, <laughs> like all your theories. Five umpires strategically placed. So yeah. That's the bottom line, Lee. That's Lee, the bottom it? line. You yep. heard it before the game, and it's got some real merit. So looking forward to hearing it. We all nod when Lee talks. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Here's Hurley at centre wing from Watson. Move it on, Mick. So, oh! The, bomb, the one thing the Bombers have stabilised a bit in the last five minutes, but that's not a good effort. They, nobody went for that. Fisted away. Back into the heart of the centre square. There is Hodge. And now Franklin. And now Lewis. And now Young. Releasing Burgoyne, who went without it. A rare mistake from him. Melsham hacking it forward. Davey and Murphy. Good contest. Love it, Murray. Boundary throw in. Right half forward. One of the problems the Bombers have at the moment, we've commented a couple of times that the Hawks are playing a one-on-one -on -one defence. To expose that, you've got to get the ball in quickly. Each time Essendon have got the ball across the half four, they've gone behind the mark and taken it very slowly, which again helps the uh, Hawthorne defenders to get extra players in their defensive 50 to help out the one-on-one -on -one contests. Murphy tries to give it across to Bateman. Stanton run down from behind by Ladson. Running out of space, Franklin. Thought it came off the boot of Pears. Yes, apparently it did. So Franklin, okay. after some discussion, gets the free. Hodge. Bit of a limp up. And Welsh showing no compassion. Ball to the wing. Renoff. Well, that's not textbook. He wasn't looking at the footy. Juggled it three times, but got it to Birchall after marking it. Birchall didn't look. Well, Fletcher didn't mark it. Well done, Wendelek. Slips a hand pass away. Atkinson, forward of half-back, decides to run. Kicks beyond the wing. Down towards half-forward. Who wants it most? Franklin, unflinching, goes back and takes the mark. And as Tom said earlier, his work rate has been quite outstanding. He kicks down towards half-forward. And a free run. kick is going to Lewis. Yeah, yeah, Fred tonight Lewis. is virtually playing Tom as a 195-centimeter yeah. midfielder. He's just up the ground and running. Here's Lewis, who hasn't missed a game this year, despite the heavy knock at Eddie Head Stadium against the Dogs. Watson, good handball to Prismal. Oh, high. 50. Mark's here, please. Mark's here, please. now wounded as well. Do they practice that at Geelong, Tom? What, which one's that, Dennis? Uh, the Selwood free kick for the head high. <laughs> they all come in after training groggy. <laughs> Move it on. So, come in. so Windelick, short. In fact, going into this match, Luke Hodge had more free kicks for than anyone else in the competition this year, which 
I guess he's earned a few maybe, but you wouldn't expect him to be the man. The kick to centre wing. I think Joel Selwood's quite happy he's not in that position this year. <laughs> it's not one you want to win every year. Shoemaker's <laughs> back. And then Fletcher looking for it. Out. Carl Lawton's free. So Carl Lawton. So Becker goes to hooker. We don't want to, I actually don't want to coach the kids that way, but a knock on the head and getting a free kick We're always just seemed to be a fair price to oh. me. Yep. <laughs> And we still listen to your theories. <laughs> As the ball comes up towards the wing, in front, Lewis gets a hand pass off, but Lovett Murray rolls across the boundary line with a footy. He's having a terrific year. His best season ever. He's averaging 24 possessions a game. That's up five on 09. And there's Luke Hodge, obviously, in yeah. trouble. Move, Richie. Bad news amongst the good, because their football has been pretty good tonight. Burgoyne to half forward. Osborne under pressure. Franklin swoops on the loose ball. Takes a while. It's three on one to this side of the ground. Well, the one did very well. Eventually, Young got the ball out. But by that time, the Essendon Cavalry had arrived. Skipper slung by Melcham. After it goes Sewell. Sewell forward at the wing. Well done by... Ellis got it across to Mitchell, inside the forward 50, Osborne the big lead that falls to Rioli. Brilliant Rioli to Ellis, the ball going forward, the bounce, and Fletcher hit the post. post. Mm. No, hit the post, bottom of the post. Real tug of war we see Hodge here. So this, that's why he stayed out there. It wasn't the, wasn't the Corky. And, was, and that's interesting in itself because obviously Corky's can can heal pretty quickly. But uh, looked like he was getting some work around the bony parts of his knee, which you'd, you'd hope isn't uh, anything more serious than a knock. It's been Hooker's in trouble. Oh, got He's there. gone. Guess who again? Yeah. <laughs> well, they continually handball the blokes under pressure, and when Riol is lurking. It's a 50-50 bet. How quick is his two or three steps when he really has to accelerate to either get the footy or, or make the tackle? What I love about him, he has textbook tackling technique. He always seems to pin an arm, and if you've got an arm pinned, you can't dispose of the ball correctly. If he plays his best football for 22 weeks, they're a chance against anyone, aren't they? Yep, absolutely. He just makes such a difference, this guy. Kicks right to the line. Franklin was there, Ellis, still Ellis, they can't get him down. Skipper. Oh, that Bateman in hard. Taking the man with him, Atkinson taking big chances. Probably not a bad idea. Pears going back inside. Was that high? I think so. And now the advantage, and Melsham has burned the footy a bit tonight. That one's okay to Watson. Watson. Defensive side of the wing, still under pressure. Winderlet, Lovett Murray, who initiated this, hand passes towards half forward. Weir is in the road, Jenner's got him. In from the side, Lanson, ball popping around in there. Over the in top the back, came Prisma. It's against Prisma. Buried him into the ground, Rick Lanson. Yeah, stay back, Michael, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Oh. Well, Lanson. Didn't really want that football, and that's what the umpire thought. So no 50. Lewis, Mitchell, pressing up the ground, out wide, a couple of cues from. Sewell looks inside the forward 50. That's a beautiful kick. Mustin, given space. Fletcher not paying attention here. Mustin goes long down towards full forward. Right, Franklin. That was position A. Sounds silly to talk about a key forward, you know when they're on, is when they're actually taking the contested marks. Yeah. That, that's the part of his game we haven't seen that no. much since the, probably the Premiership year. Yep. Uh, but and even that, you know, he kind of had the sit really. Hooker was coming back with the flight, it was going to be pretty hard to spoil. Very good by Mustard. Played on immediately. Man on the mark, Fletcher, not paying attention. And his kick, under no duress, favoured that man who gets the goal. And Hawthorne pull away to lead by 29. Yeah, Mustin and uh, we've spoken a lot about Mustin and Fletcher and where Fletcher actually fits in at the moment. This is the end result of the Mustin uh, turn wheel and inside 50. Kaya Hooper really had no chance. Yeah, he was caught a couple of metres out in front. We might get a good look at it here. Watching the ball as a defender, you're really in all sorts. For five metres, he was just in trouble after that, wasn't he? And it's always, always a tough act to sort of judge the ball in the air, watch where your opponent is. Box seat for Franklin. Quarter of an hour.
now between goals for the Hawks is Hodge. That could, that could be significant. We spoke that we thought it might have been a corky, but he's clearly pointing to the bony part of his knee. And let's hope for Hawks supporters that's not something more serious. Well, he's out there right now. Having another crack. But that scoreboard right. is now out. lopsided. There's Thanks, Hodge. Well, they've just dried up from quarter time, haven't they? Uh, Thanks, and that's in three behinds all they've been able to manage this quarter. The contested marks there, eight to one to Hawthorne. Five of those have actually been inside the forward 50. And going in, you would have thought Gumbledon and Hurley were a danger for the Hawks in that area, but yeah. it hasn't been, has it? I mean, delivery hasn't been there either, admittedly, but they we haven't been able to catch it. We might yet see Hurley be, uh, swung around to the other end of the ground. Robbing Peter to play Paul. Mm. So Saul just getting rid of Davey there. Ryder at the back of Skipper. And then Skipper again. And then Zaharakis. Prismal. It's still heavy traffic though. Banging it back in. Can they take that mark? Gumbled in good effort. Brilliant pick up by Lovett Murray. He has grubbed it through. Not sure whether this one, Mur Murphy has been leaving his direct opponent to actually help out in the air. Problem is, if you don't really influence the contest, yep. well, let's see when it goes. The long, uh, the long kick forward. Yeah, it wasn't Jed. It wasn't his direct opponent. It was uh, Lovett Murray that came. Uh, Lovett Murray that came forward. Well, their forward efficiency is keeping them in it. That's their uh, eighth scoring shot from only the 16 inside 50s. First goal for the Bombers after 37 minutes. It's taken a while, and in that time, Hawthorne booted five. Nicely gathered. As we said, Lovett Murray, a man in four. Mitchell, a half chance. Ball spills wide. Uh, Harakas went to ground. Ladson. Oh, well done, Rioli. Burgoyne onto the loose ball. Prismal in the Sir opposite Rioli direction. He's being held without the football. Free kick to Sir Rioli. All things considered, not bad policy. With some handcuffs. He goes out wide. Oops, the big guy. Stopped it with his chin. Ran off, laid it down. Burgoyne trying to get away. Ryder's got him, held it a long time. Free kick to Paddy Ryder. Now this margin is 23. Four and a half minutes out from half time. Another goal, and it's right back in the manageable department. Zaharakis just lobs it to the pocket. Not the best spot for it. And Hawthorne now with a chance to get some people back. Richard. Well, Andrew Welsh has done a great job on Luke Hodge, but let's not forget uh, the job that Bateman's done on Stanton. He's only had the four touches, and he normally gives the Bombers a lot of run. He's been down a bit, hasn't he, Stanton, the last month? His number's not quite as high, but a key component for the Bombers, that run and carry. Burgoyne back to Young, and then back to Osborne, and then back it goes. Sharon Makers is long ball, Ryder went early, and then Renoff off the ground, hacking it forward. That's a good result for the Hawks. Chief Franklin could have got away with that, and then a little toe poke and a boundary throw in. And there's not one player behind, uh, behind the ball there. The whole forward half of the ground for Hawthorne is vacant. And Luke Hodge is back on the field, so maybe that knock to the knee was yep. nothing more than just a knock. Dennis makes a good point. A goal to the Judge Bombers here will really make a difference. They're just hanging in, if that. Murphy, under pressure, Guerra, Ladson, and then Ladson off one step, and that's a feature. When they're going well, their field kicking is so impressive. Finding Osborne between halfback and centre wing. Moving on, play on! Drives it beyond the wing, down towards right half forward. Ryder goes back, did well. Neutralised skipper, and over the top came Welsh. And as you'd expect, Andrew Welsh comes Andy it's clockwise. Prismal with it now. He's at centre half back. Needed to keep the transference of play over to the fat side of the ground. Instead, they're going to go down the traffic line. Not bad, though. Lonigan. No real pressure on Lonigan. He was surprised by that. Comes to Melksham. Down towards half forward. Slips it away. Windelick, 55 metres out. Slattery. Another renowned goal kicker. That was clever. Windelick. A little bit of a fumble there from Hurley across to Zaharakis. Now he wants his left side, McVeigh. Lines it up, but he's pulled it back too far. They kept Behind. going, the left footers are had to come back inside, yeah. didn't they? They were just a bit unlucky. Slattery would have had a perfect shot, but he didn't really want to go right side from uh, probably 40 metres, but left side couldn't come back. Ellis. Thanks, Mark. 
And then Franklin covering so much ground, isn't he? Thank you. Be interesting to plot just where he's had his yeah, kicks in the first half. Oh, yeah. Kick three first half goals, buddy. It's a long ball. Fletcher's read it beautifully and he's off. He had Stanton running, decided to go forward. Davey at the back. Did well, he worked. Murphy underneath. And then that cutesy little kick. He knew what he was trying, but Sharon Makers was up for it. That was sharp from Sharon Makers. Davey so good in the one on ones. Use that sort of form in the World Cup. Watson knocks it out. Zaharakis, Windelik wheels around, 40 metres out from goal. Get something on this one too. That's a beautiful kick. He gave it everything. Not easy on the turn. Puts it through. We talked about that elusive goal. They've got it. Well, he's a right foot natural kick. Windelik haven't seen him kick left side that much, but he had to kick left side. But he executed that that beautifully to uh, to swing the ball back from probably good 40 metres. You could see him get on, on the end of it there. And he's got good pace. That That is a really, really good kick. It was a great example of his pace there, just a couple of steps to break clear from the stoppage. I like the adventurous chat from Bell Chambers who started the play. So a couple of goals late-ish here. That's his first goal for the season, Winderlich. It's the efficiency of the Bombers just keeping them in at their 19 entries for uh, 10 scoring shots. Mm. He was sitting on 07 Winderlick before tonight. Prismal getting a bit of the ball and then going long. Jenner's good stretch in the front. Pressure on. Now the hook suddenly. And then Prismal who started it all. Toe poking forward. Hurley down low. Good pick up. Still Hurley. Brilliantly done. Oh, couldn't quite get the angle. He'd done all the hard work and couldn't quite polish it at the end. That's the chase. Oh, was, it, was it Hodge who actually uh, chased and just got a hand Gillum, on him? I think. No, Gillum, yep. Yep. Just hit the wrong side yeah, of the ball. Save to goal. <laughs> yeah. Save to goal. You can kick him or save him. Just that touch put him off, didn't it? Jetta was interesting. As the ball comes to Prismo, he snaps and misses. We saw that shot prior to the last bounce from Matthew Knights, and he was saying one more. That's right. <laughs> and uh, Gillam is the man doing the job on Hurley. He's, he hasn't actually had the possession, but uh, we mentioned just before, if you can lay a tackle that saves a certain goal, they're worth their weight in gold. Gillam drives the ball outside the 50. Up in front was Hodge. Winderlick getting busy. Left it behind, though. Skipper somehow got it out of there. Watson again, the man who set up that last goal for Winderlick to Welsh inside the forward 50. And that is a great mark. Chance Bateman off balance, falling back, clutching the footy inside the defensive 50. Not been just the body positioning, but just, you know, Stan just not really being able to stay under, mm. under the footy there. I mean, he had the uh, probably a 60% chance, and the other guy marked it. Franklin driving it down towards the 50. Going close to the boundary line, and out it goes. Franklin has been terrific in this opening half. He's been at three goals, 31 seconds remaining, and I would imagine in his player profile, he'd list his favourite colours as red and black. <laughs> Does well against him, doesn't he? He's keeping up the average. He's on for half a dozen. Muston has played his role. That's high. Tackle! Muston got taken high! Got him high! So against Ryder, this is a... When he turns straight back to him, thanks. This is a... Straight back to him. Big, big uh, mistake. When he turns mistake. straight back to him, thanks, Brent. All started with the uh, contest between oh, Bateman and Stan down the other end of the ground. I'd yeah. like to see a bit more bit more presence, a bit more stronger body language from uh, one of their leaders in Brent Stan. He really needs to stand up. Well, Burgoyne kicked a goal after the first quarter siren. Must have a chance here to do it again. And this will be a body blow because the Bombers have worked back pretty well here. And Mustard has had a very good first half, oh. makes it even better. That is a terrific finale for him personally, a second goal in the first half. And that's, uh, that's great footage from the Hawks today, I really enjoyed that one. They, you're right, the Bombers did start to gain the momentum, so a really strong finishing point to the first half for the Hawks. So the Prismal miss at the other end. Just that and one more that Knights was talking about. Yeah, yeah. not the one he had in mind though, was it? <laughs> I dare not say that to half-time here at the MCG. Friday night footy, it's Hawthorne 57 to Essendon 36.
start of the second half. Voice of Tom Harley, and away we go. Tap down by Renoff. Sewell slides in. Comes across towards Welsh. Got boot to ball. Hodge, a little bit lame, oh, taken boy. high. Will get the free kick, and he's back up in the second oh, half. Drives it down towards half for telling kick. What a beauty. Bounces off the chest of Buddy Franklin. Gathered there by Fletcher, who feeds it out wide. Love it, Murray. Delicately. Jenner wants to go. Kicks to half forward. Hurley on the lead takes the mark. And then back to Jetta. And Jetta at full pace inside the 50 poor kick. And Murphy, who's read it well all night, cut across in front to take it in front of Davey. Short to Birchall. Remarkably, if you take the two goals after the siren away, it would be 6 9 5 6. You don't feel like it's been that close, do mm. you? Well, Nick's, Nick Maxwell spoke about it at half time. What's keeping Essendon in the game is their forward 50 efficiency, the 11 scoring shots from only the 19 entries. Burgoyne. And going out. Stanton, interesting. Four, uh, well, still in. Uh, Buddy keeping it. He'll go back to Stanton later as Osborne hacks it forward. Rough head running hard and through from behind. Stanton, four disposals in the opening half. I have a bit of a theory with renowned good players when they're down for an extended period of time. I always think they're injured. And, uh, I mean, Brett Stanton is a fantastic player, but one thing that has concerned is his body language tonight. I think he's, uh, he's sending a negative, negative image to his teammates. Well, his season lows 11 against the Saints. Trouble here. Oh. Zaharakis running into trouble, and then Osborne, well... Look to give me in the end, that and he's missed it off. Oh, oh. That was a definite goal, oh. ended up out of bounds, didn't it? <laughs> Prisma, very lucky to get away with this, just spills it. I guess the spill goes with his initials. Should have given the quick handball, then he would have made right an open goal. Bounces it out towards the 50. Taken by Guira, kicks it back inside. Getting a fingertip to it there was Roughhead on the lead. Hocking coming through, that's better. Prismal across to Jetta. Good run by the Bombers. Hocking beyond the wing. Stanton. Not much to kick to, although they'd spread the defence a little. Stanton in two minds. Now we'll use McVeigh and does. McVeigh runs down towards half forward. Takes something off the kick. Lonigan wheels around. That's a good effort. Drifting back on the outer side is Welch. Missed it. Oh, well done, Murphy. Knocked it down to the advantage of Stratton. Stratton hacks it towards the outer side. Little U-turn. Slattery did well. Watson, Ryder, back to half forward. Bombers in search of an early goal. Davey, well, he let him come and took him down. It was the Fosbury flop. We've got a bounce. No, we haven't. Play goes on. Birchall, there's Davey again. He's a tackling machine. Ball pinballs around there. Comes to Burgoyne. Now Sewell. Gee, good hands by Burgoyne there. Heavy traffic. Osborne so combative with Slattery. Boundary throw in. You mentioned Burgoyne, Luce, uh, Bruce. He's, uh, his work in tight's fantastic. That's a fair hit. So good forward pressure by the Bombers there, but no result so far. Ryder, oh, brilliant by Mitchell. I think it was meant for the other captain. And Mitchell inside 50. Which way does it bounce? Getting back was Buddy, not quite Mustard, who's been a very important player. And then Fletcher belts it over the line. Okay. So, you obviously can't see it on television but when, TV, but when the ball's up this end of the ground, or either end of the ground, all the forwards are up in the midfield. Yeah. There's no forwards that are basically playing back to goal. They're charging back when the ball's coming in. It's been good, Mitchell. Up to 16 possessions. Lonigan, Watson, Clever. Drives it towards the outer side. Stanton comes to the football all night long. Chance Bateman right in his hip pocket. Hurley does well, though. Hurley kicks inside the forward 50. Gumbleton had a bad night. He was under the football there. Back goes Murphy. Davey has been terrific. Tries to get him in the leg scissors. Over the top Murray there goes Lovett Murray. In the back, though, free kick to Guerra. And they're pretty tough packs on the forward line for Essendon at the moment. Thanks mainly to Alwyn Davey. We're up. Nice, well-weighted kick. Bateman settles it down. Move it on, play on. Heard the call. Bateman, short of half forward. Piers goes up, uncontested, when takes the bar. Down, keep it on, Mustin. Make sure he doesn't block Fletcher's run. Heard that. Mmm, collusion amongst the umpires. Looking very closely. Mustard blocking Fletcher's run. 
Meantime, Young goes to the other side. Osborne. It's a poor kick a moment ago by Pears. And now Osborne. Well, a second average kick. We knew what he was trying to do there, but... Dennis, you speak about the potential collusion the umpires from a player's perspective. That's fantastic to hear that the umpires are actually communicating between each other and keeping an eye out for those sort of uh, those sort of disruptions in the play. Not if you must, then. <laughs> Lewis trying to take the run off bump, uh, uh, tap, I should say, and then hocking work, Burgoyne underneath. Just feel like Hurley's getting busy on the forward line for Essendon. I reckon there's some hope for the Bombers here. They're matching the Hawks in the early minutes of this second half. Well done, boys. Room behind me, please. Some room behind me, please. We're basically where we were at quarter time score-wise. Yeah. We've felt that Hawthorne's been on top. And now there's five wins that Hawthorne have had. They've been in front 92% of the time. They've been front runners. Rioli going forward. Franklin. Cool. And that was going in. Yeah. <laughs> well, off his boot, you'd back it, wouldn't you? It was going to be oh so close. Love it, Murray. McVeigh, barely the 15. Two men on towards half back. Jetta continues to run, but that's ignored. He goes the other way. In the pocket, it's taken by Prismal. His 15th possession, Prismal. Has not always been in favour at Windy Hill this season. Short one, Windelick. Slattery cruising past. Windelick's got the football right half back. Demands something of Hooker and or Watson. Watson did brilliantly. The full tilt, Hocking, sends it inside the 50. Murphy goes back, interfered with by Davey. Not a lot in that. And that 50, bit more in it now. A good contest, that's yeah. actually. Davey's been really good at ground level. Don't you expect yeah. Murphy's been good in the overhead marking, helping a part, helping too much? There's Birchall after the kick, probing kick inside the 50, launching himself at the back. Franklin Fletcher feeds it forward, playing his 21st game against Hawthorne. Slattery, Watson, McVeigh, Slattery drives it beyond the wing. It's two on one. Skipper in front, well done by Stanton, got it on the ground, Bell Chambers, Melcham digs them in, runs hard, a couple of bounces, controls the footy, nobody except Gumbleton back, oh what a precise kick, what a magnificent kick, the only man forward for the Bombers and somehow young Melcham got him the ball. Interesting, Tom. Tonight the defenders are coming upfield with their forwards, yes. which means they're getting turned a lot and having to run back. We see another example here. What do you think that the defenders be holding back a little bit half back? Yeah, I think I think the really good defensive players can ascertain when their players leading up to almost that junk running. Gumbleton's first kick, his first disposal. Well, it's a good one. I think the best way to go, Lee, is you, you're obviously aware of the space that's in front of you, and you, you've just got to read the angles. If you get shoulder to shoulder, you start slightly behind. So we'll probably get a good yeah. good look at it here with, um, uh, was it shoulder makers? We, we seem to be seeing a lot of times where forwards are charging back into space yep. and defenders are running back with them. Yep. They, 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 they're just not sure whether the defenders are holding their ground when their opponents, you know, like in that, we should shoulder makers have just stayed back and let get yep. him five metres. So Gumbledon goals, first kick. Haven't seen much of him, Richard. How have you seen his game? Look, he works really hard, Bruce. I've been watching him closely for the last half, and he has worked hard. He dropped a mark early in the game, but he didn't drop his head. He's continued to work hard, and he really deserved that goal. Well, he may become a key in the second half. They close it again, the Bombers. Back to 17 points. Welsh couldn't quite. Ah! But sort of got into Hodge's back, and then Hodge has to fetch the footy. Little give was terrific there by show and makers to Rioli. So constructive, out wide, gets it to Guerra, back to Lewis, and then Lewis off one step, must on the target, getting back Slattery to help Fletcher. And then Slattery's handball's a dangerous one. Oh. Atkinson is quick, but he needed to be. Well done, McVeigh. It was a lovely little give. Prisbal on the up. Winderlich trying to find some space. Long kick forward. They've got the numbers, the Hawks. And the little kick by Showenmakers out wide. And Mark taken by Osborne. 
Just feel, Lee, have you got, I get the feeling the Bombers are Yeah, and I think we're in the game. I mean, the big margin this game was all developed in the first quarter. Pretty much since then, Essendon have been at least on par. Thank you. Young kicks it inside the 50. Franklin in front, outmaneuvered that time by Hooker, at least initially. It comes down as skipper, had too much time, goes to the opposite pocket, not his intention. Love it, Murray. There goes Bunny. And I think Hooker hooked him. Got the arm. Or is it the other way around? In fact, it's out of bounds after all of that. Well, multiple choice. Thought I only had two. In fact, there were three. Melcham. Windling. In the back pocket. We know he's got a left foot with a lick, but he didn't want to use it there. Fletcher under pressure. Well done. Kept his head. Fletcher to Watson. Said that a long time ago, didn't we? Prismal to Zaharakis, who's been quiet. This is an important ball. Gumbleton worked underneath it by Showenmakers. Atkinson closing. Showenmakers little give. And then Osborne going back. Good tackle again by Atkinson. Murphy's quick kick gets a bit on it with a torpedo to centre wing. Oh, strong mark. Skipper's been handy. Good running from Young. He's a long, lovely kick. He's kicked his second. They've been waiting a long time, haven't they, Hawthorne, for Young to get back into form. The last time I've seen him run through the 50 line and kick a goal might have been in the 2008 yeah. grand final. He, That's he how did. injured he's been for the last 18 months. But his ability to break the lines and kick long and accurate, enormous capability. The great contest won by Shawmakers against Gumbleton. The difference between that one and the Gumbleton goal is the fact that Shawmakers made body contact and got the, uh, got the support from his fellow Hawks and uh, ran away with the ball. Wade Skipper, originally from West Perth, played with the Western Bulldogs. A good acquisition, 11 possessions now for the big guy. That's the goal from Young, but it was the mark, admittedly, over Winderlich, but even so, he's finding plenty of the football. What you want from your big guys? Be in the game. Burgoyne feeds it out. Murphy smothered off the boot there by Lonigan, spills to Melcham. I think you'd call that indecisive. Down towards the 50 tackle on Standen. Certainly not the tackling of the Hawks. That wasn't indecisive. Three of them. They got him in the pincer movement. And as you can see, Standen very much pinched. Next chance, please. Chance, please. They've targeted him a bit. Not just because they've tackled him here, but they've really gone yeah, at him, haven't yeah, they? they have. He hasn't been able to shake Bateman. Bateman's missed four of his last five matches being reported. But he's doing a great job tonight. Melsham on the up to love it, Murray. Here is Stanton. Little gift to Davey. Gee, that was quick. It's OK. It's OK. Hey, how's the footy? Throw it in. Oh. Throw it in. Oh. Throw it in. I'm, I'm sure Matthew Knights is trying to think, where do I put the stanton Bateman matchup yeah. that suits Eston? Bessie, at the moment, he's got him forward third trying to make uh, Bateman play as a defender. Skipper at the back of Ryder. Well done, Lonigan, and got a handball away. Jetta and Stratton gets him in a boundary throw in. You'd have to. Get up, get up now, get up. You, you would have to say that the Hawthorne homework into the game has been really well done. Yeah. Obviously, targeted Stan with the run that Essen is so good at, and also Fletcher was the obvious one that they've put a lot of time into him to stop his defensive run from the defensive 50. Ryder and Skipper. Ryder does brilliantly. Hooks it down behind Burgoyne. Ryder hacks it out of mid-air, Murphy. And now Mitchell has been terrific. 17 possessions for the skipper, drives it to the outer side. Franklin in front, Osborne held a long time, went to ground, crashing through as Lewis, gathered by Atkinson. Interesting, falling backwards, Slattery, Piers. Now a chance on the outer side for Hooker to pick a man. Goes down towards the pocket, gumbled, and he's done that a lot tonight, getting under the football. Earns it, though, got the crumb. Stanton spills the mark. Boundary throw in. Get up and go away. It's one of the things about Gumbleton, he actually, his body strength doesn't allow him to hold his line. Mm. And Sean Makers is just, uh, even though he's younger, too, too strong in the contest. Skipper won that tap. Love it, Murray. Davey. Just trying to find a way through at the moment, the Bombers. And what the Bombers really need to do is that 
They're actually denying Hawthorne uncontested possession, but they're losing the contested possession. If they can fix that part of the game up and win the ball in the contest, the work they're doing off the ball is actually pretty, pretty solid. So they just need to start winning these one-on-one -on -one contests in the clearance and contested possession. Good tap by Ryder. Terrific tackle by Hodge. Mersham Hodge. Well, was that deliberate? Uh, it's in a contested area. Thank you. I, I... I'm not sure what that's got to do with no, it. But it I, I think the umpires are getting confused with the force behind now and deliberate out of bounds. Yeah. Well, his intention was playing there. So Ryder again wins the tap. Watson on the left. Hocking, he's a long way out, but he can either set up or have a shot. He's going to set up short. Oh. No, Stanton. Oh, it could have no. been a free, but didn't, didn't get by. <laughs> Bad night all round. And now they could pay. Ellis's handball is important. Watson, plenty of time. Bangs away from outside the 50. Franklin comes to the contest in the back. Stanton's lame, I reckon. You have any injured? Yep. Hooker, short one. Stanton. Oh, Over the right. top, holds Prismal up. Prismal behind Hocking. This is not looking so good, although Fletcher comes through. Kicks out wide and finds Zaharakis on the lead. It's interesting, I was watching a tape during the week and it did occur to me that the umpires suddenly are interpreting out of bounds deliberate very much as they would the behind. As the ball goes across the ground, they're two different things, obviously. Slattery coming through is Atkinson. The umpires generally very good tonight, down towards the pocket. Edged under the football is Gumbleton, the smaller man resorting to his bag of tricks and the umpire was three metres away. Umpire Dean Margetts calling a free to Gumbleton. He had to mark that, I mean, they've got the free like, kick, but push him out with the four, he, was, he had the got... advantage then of have, uh, not having shown makers to compete against. So he's coming up for what? His third kick and his second goal. Not an easy kick. Wow. Way out to the right. Out of bounds on the floor. It's his big issue at the moment. He missed a couple last week against the Cats when the game through. was tight. They've just, obviously, they've got to take those chances tonight, all of them. Well, he won the free kick, which is, so he, in effect, got the result to have a shot on goal. But, Lee, I think you're right. He really does need to exert himself, especially yeah, against Bateman. Nisto just still holds your line better, even if you haven't got the body strength. So, Wright has taken a good one there. Ken no Bomber on ball rider who may try and set up here. And he does. Gumbledon again the target. Stratton got in there. Lonigan couldn't quite. And then Mitchell pretty happy to concede. But a lot of this match right now has been played in the forward yeah, 50 yeah. for Essendon. No, they're going right. And that, what are Essendon going to do with Stan? They look like they're putting back on Rioli. That'll test him. No. Margin 22 points, so they've actually added to it, Hawthorne, oh, by a point in this term. He's been very good rider, knocked it down to his own advantage, kicks it towards full forward, Bell Chambers. What a terrific fist away there by Gillum, taken by Mitchell. Birchall on the run, comes out of defence, kicks outside the defensive 50, Slattery hands to it with strength. Slattery pushing off Ellis, knocks it across to Hurley. Hurley's kick, well, not very effective. It wanders down towards the pocket, running out of space, Ladson. That was good. Stratton lays it off, Ellis. Interesting kick, that one. Was it 15? Apparently. Gillum's spoil on Bell Chambers is impressive. It's probably as good a zero possession game as I reckon you could probably have. Long ball, beyond, oh, beyond the wing and Melcham, beyond expectations, terrific mark, goes in short to Pears. Jim Melcham after an ordinary start tonight has lifted and uh, he's a great prospect, Stanton to Davey. And then Davey with a neat kick to Zaharakis, here is Gillen, and then Zaharakis high against Latson. Well, they've got an appetite for it, the Bombers. That's one thing at the moment. They're not going away. Move it on. They haven't been able to convert, ironically. They did that early in the match, but not so far. Ch Bill, Bill Chambers, he's not. got it. Well, he went early and held on. That's what they needed someone special in there. They really haven't been able to look like being able to crack the Hawthorne defence. So it was Bell Chambers who did the big jump, and that was uh, Melsham further upfield. Allen. Well, he hasn't had, I don't think he's had many shots for goal, this youngster. 
He played well against the Cats last week. He had 13 disposals. He's come in for Hill, obviously. He's only kicked one goal in his career. It's only his second match this season. They need this big time. He's got it. Well, they're evening up the uh, the uh, total possession count now, the uh, the Bombers, 132 to 130, and they're closing the gap in the contested possessions as well, which yeah. is uh, not insignificant. Yeah, they're certainly playing, well, even better in general play, but the ability is they're, they're just scoring so slowly. They mm. just don't look like being able to get that three or four goals on the burst. That's their uh, problem. The rest of the game's going pretty good. This is a massive five minutes for the Essendon Football Club. Hawthorne have won only two final quarters for the year. If Essendon can get another goal now, they're going to be right in this match. Well, the Bombers, no strangers to goal-kicking Ruckman. Simon Madden, Paul Salmon, the season David Hill. And Tom Bell Chambers, back in the middle, one down by Ryder. Another man who can kick a goal. Well done by Renock, pushing it across towards oh, Lewis, taken Lewis. high. Watch his head! Watch his head! In Stanton, there goes the kick from Lewis inside the forward 50, and Franklin comes up. He's got three. He's on the 50. Just about one metre. This sort of suits it. No, no, he starts no, around there, and meter. takes that arc on his left-hand side. Yep. Don't be surprised if he put it through. Really, when there's, when there's movement, that's when he's troubled a hooker. But a hooker's been really good in the yeah. contest overhead. I've got to say, Buddy's overhead marking is not what it was 18 months ago. 65 plays 49. Franklin, in characteristic fashion, but he hooks it way too early and tugs it right behind. Increases the lead, but not as he'd hoped. You just wonder how much control he has over his own kicking track. I mean, he's an enigma. He's a magnificent long kick, but as Dennis said, he got the hook too early there. And then never came back. So Prismal in short. An important miss, though, because Essendon, within three goals, they've played well Play enough on. to be that close after being blown away in the second half of the opening quarter. Watson getting it in short. Again, still how still well do they hold their nerve in this type of situation where they're trying to slowly build from the back half? It's fraught with danger, isn't it? This slow Play defensive on. action. On. Now, decision time for Zaharakis. Got to be careful. They found Watson, but they're still in dangerous territory. Well, that possession actually ties up the possession count, so they have worked their way back in the game. Hawthorne were dominating the ball early, so they are controlling the tempo of the game at the moment. And Watson, that's a pretty good kick, actually. He just controlled it. A little hook to Gumbledon's advantage. Can they think their way through this, the Bombers? So Gumbledon off one step. Hurley the target with Hooker. Show and Makers belts it away to Guerra. Guerra. Looked at Show and Makers initially, then came back to that option. Mitchell, barely the 15. Burgoyne at the interchange gates. 17 points the difference. Another goal to the Bombers. And that feel they're right back in it. Short one from Mitchell to Roughhead. There was lax marking of the mark there by Stanton, but the kick after Stanton did clutch him at the last moment. Floated to Watson, finds Wendelik. Now they're on around the outer side. Hawking, he can run. Hawking looks back towards the middle. Wants his natural left foot short. Zaharakis, they need to move it quickly. It's one on one, up ahead for the moment. Goes out very wide, taken by Pears. The lead comes from Gumbleton. He goes shorter. Hurley, quiet night. Got into his move early. Show and makers right there, step for step. Wins the free kick. That was terrific by Schoenmakers, right behind Hurley, and mirrored every movement. In fact, it may be Stanton. Now it's Schoenmakers who's got the kick. To centre wing, Franklin and Hooker. Good mark. Good win. That's what Lee talked about a couple of minutes ago with Hooker. Back to Watson. Still the Bombers. Still probing right. here. Floating ball. Bill Chambers again. Yeah. Read it best as he did a moment ago. Well, you wouldn't. Stanton's run for him. Got himself into a bit of trouble. Can he get it back, Stanton? Well, he's thrown that. Well, he's lucky. Rioli. And now Bateman. There's irony in all of this. Now Mitchell. Mitchell strolling towards goal and missing. Oh. Unbelievably. And 
she stands and says having one of those nights and it just didn't work. Mitchell Len, I think he, he knew that there was a player within five metres, but I still think he probably could have yeah. run another ten metres, had a bit, maybe even had the bounce to make it a 20 metre rather than a 30 metre grubber. And what about the turnover from uh, that Surioli and Force yeah, there? Three oh, of yeah. this probably should have been rewarded for the throw from Stanton. Uh, playing one hell of a game. All process Ray. Get on the line now. A time Come when you there. need to think inside the square. <laughs> Give me some We've got a bounce. Oh, gee. All the things that happen in a game of footy. Long toenails get you into trouble. Knocked down by Renoff at the back of the pack. Watson. Oh, well played, Watson. So they come away regardless. In fact, maybe they're better off. Melcham got it to Gumbleton. Looks across the ground. Not a precise kick. Bell Chambers again. He's inspired to McVay. Open goal. He goes towards full forward. Getting back to Harakis. So the Bombers are coming with bells on. 67 to 49. And there's the unlikely hero. And here's a man who can kick a goal. Bell Chambers, he's been the uh, forward, he's been the only forward really that's been able to stand tall. Schoenberger's defence against anybody has been great, but Bell Chambers has troubled him. He's kicked at least one goal in every game this season. Zaharakis nails it. Bombers coming at the Hawks. Good transition to play by the Bombers, got the ball out in space. Gumbleton to Bell Chambers. He's looked quite likely. Is he actually giving himself the best opportunity? All started here in the back line, Joe, doing what he does best. And they've got the ball out in space here. Good work rate from Gumbleton. Got to, a long uh, way clear, Gumbleton, didn't you? Think yeah. who's, who's playing near or on him? He just was a mile clear. And it wasn't happening early in the game. The Hawks were playing that really one-on-one. -on -one. Mark McVeigh's an underrated kick inside 50, I reckon. His left foot is generally pinpointed and a top one there from him. So Zahra has his gold in all 13 games this year. Well, this is the closest they've been since the mm -hmm. quarter time yeah. siren when yeah, Bergoyne really lined up. So one goal, six the difference. Essendon have had most of the play. Play on. Rider tackle was important. Melsham, well done to Zaharakis, running hard and finding, not quite. Gee, yeah. well done, Gillam again. Zaharakis got in again to love it, Murray down low. Little gift to Welsh, back to Zaharakis. Did he have the footy? Did Hurley have it? Good stuff by Skipper. And then came Winderleck, Watson and also Melsham. Welsh, head down, hacking forward. Davey couldn't quite. Davey, Davey, yeah. There's a goal, the difference. <laughs> it was close. It was like a dead hit of the Melbourne Cup. Well, they just keep coming. I mean, they're, they're finding a way to score. It's been their issue. But all of a sudden, in this, Bell Chambers was the one who got yep. them going with a couple of marks. But all of a sudden, they're getting numbers into the screen. Mm. They're the ones who are creating the pressure. The good old-fashioned footy stats, clearances and contested possession. We've seen plenty of games this year where it hasn't necessarily translated yeah. to a win. But tonight, it's that, that old-style football and the Bombers are closing the gap. Contested possessions now 103 to 101 in Hawthorne's favour and the clearance is 24 to 22. So right back in, it states the obvious. Well, you've got the six, the six scoring shots, but unfortunately for Hawthorne, they're six, six behind. Points. So this game is absolutely on the line. Well, back to one kick in it. What a remarkable comeback here by Essendon. They're going to have momentum. So here at three-quarter time on Friday Night Footy, 67 to 61. The Bombers closing on the Hawks. Couldn't draw this one up any better. Ryder goes up and taps it down and comes again. Gets the opening kick of the final term inside the forward 50. Tom Bell Chambers up in front. Stanton knocks it across towards Zaharakis to Gumbleton. Time to look. Goldwood running back, getting a fist on it. Murphy, and he knocks it out of bounds in the pocket. The really positive things for the Bombers is they've turned around the key statistics. The contested possessions in the third quarter. Essendon 37 to Hawthorne 27. So Ryder becoming a factor, bouncing ball, it's a goal, scores a level. He's a big factor now. Well, the 
they've started to get the scoreboard ticking over us, and that's really been by outplaying their, uh, the defend the forwards outplaying the Hawthorne defenders. That's remained pretty constant. But Bell Chambers, couple of marks, and that's just a freaky kick off the ground. They're just finding a way to kick this four or five goals that's uh, got them back on level terms. And the missed, uh, the missed ones from the Hawks early, uh, I think at one stage they were two goals, five, and now nine goals, 13. Well, the last time they were level or in front, 19 minutes into the first quarter. Yep. They got early goals against the flow, but now they're getting goals with a tide behind them, aren't they? It's 67 apiece. Ryder, good tap. Packed forward by Lewis. And then Slattery with Riol, and he wants the line. And why wouldn't you against Cyril? Mustard and Fletcher. Fletcher has to try and find the ball. Franklin tries to get it off him. And you just wonder now, Hodge has been Good so guys, important in these situations. You wonder if he's got a kick left in him tonight. Well, that's right. He's only had half a dozen possessions, and uh, whether it's his injury or whether it's, whether it's Welsh, but he just hasn't worked at this point. Well, Welsh has been terrific. Comes down in front, missing the football. Lonigan goes after it. Lewis tries to come out backwards, but left the football behind. Now Mitchell tackled immediately by Jetta in the opposite direction. Hooker, down he goes, holding the ball. Jetta plays on, stepping over Mitchell, goes in short. Hurley had it knocked away, coming through Jetta to Hurley. They're running brilliantly at the present time, the Bombers. Poor kick, though. Stratton did well. Gillum has been good despite his stats, his tackle by Gumbleton. That ball's slow to release. In fact, the wrong group's got it. I'm looking at the other three. What a ball up at right half forward. The Chambers handing it back to the umpire. What a second half he's played. <laughs> Ryder doing so well in the ruck as well. Mitchell trying to lift his team. The two captains have done well, haven't they? Watson yep. and Mitchell. It's that interesting point about our game. These days, the ball disappears quite regularly. Like, do we know, where is it? We don't know where it is. No, the players, I don't think, know where it is. That's how many bodies converge on the contest in 2010. Happens a lot in rugby union, doesn't yeah, it? It does. And those rucks and malls. Davey went early, but Murphy, what a great Good contest. Yeah, it has yeah. been, hasn't it? In fact, I reckon the Hawthorne defence one-on-one has played really well. Yeah, right? And th that's been a bit of a knock on them, and even in their premiership year, I think. Here's Guerra off one step with a long ball to centre wing. Ryder in front, up he goes, fisted away by Renoff, roving the pack, dashing in. Lewis to the advantage of Franklin. Players flooding back now inside the 50, but Franklin's running it. He puts it inside the 50, then <laughs> spears it home. Four goals to Buddy Franklin, and that's probably the pick of them. I think we can officially, for the time being, classify Buddy as a half-forward flanker. He's playing that way with He's just a running half-forward flanker. He hasn't looked like marking the ball in the contest overhead, really, but when he gets upfield and he takes off, four of them play. He knows he could have run to the goal square and kicked it from the goal line. He was never going to catch him. Well, the times he's looked really dangerous. Even the marks he's got as a forward have been running back and yep. they've kicked the ball over the top. So, an exceptional talent. Have a look at that there. You saw the contest with Hooker. Hooker's gone to the front of the ball. Franklin has chanced his arm in a way. Smart decision. Smart offensive decision. Great chase from McVeigh, but uh, rare talent. That had one running bounce for the night, the Hawks, before that run. When you've got Rioli and Franklin on the same team, you've always got some chance, haven't you? Hurley trying to make something of that at half forward. Davey quickly on to Saul. McVeigh gets it to Winderlich. Nick Maxwell talked about his importance at three-quarter time with Dennis. Love it, Murray to Watson. That's a good kick. Under pressure. Big fly, Bill Chambers. Oh. Davey and Prismal back to Davey. And Davey, careful as you like. Squares it up. He's kicked three. Might be seeing you go, go for goal for goal here. We've spoken a bit about the Murphy Davy matchup. Um, three goals is a pretty just re return. So we've uh, yeah, sung the praises for Murphy so far, but you've got to stop the goals. Bill Chambers important again there. He made a contest, well, didn't he? And the Watson ability to take the pressure. He knew that he was going to get knocked over, but he knew he had the half a step to kick the ball to the goal front.
And how about this, Tom? Good Five job. goals from their last inside 50, seven of them. That's remarkable conversion by the Bombers. Started early in the game too, Dennis. That's how they actually got themselves within striking distance. So the efficiency from the Bombers has been fantastic all night. Ruckman tried to draw, fell at their feet. Love it, Murray. Scores tied again, 73 apiece. Lots of time remaining towards Harford and Hurley. Oh, well done, Gillam. Clung on for dear life. Mitchell away to Sewell. Sewell runs from halfback. Ill-directed kick. Must be a free to hooker. Jens Franklin. Better play by Hooker. Actually stayed goal side of Franklin on that occasion. No doubting the free. He's tried very hard. Back after injury. Find out if you're fit or not. Up against Lance in brackets, Buddy Franklin. You mentioned it before, Tom. He hasn't actually had a disposal, Gillen, but he's had quite a reasonable yeah. game. I think he has. <laughs> Ball comes out wide in this age of stats. <laughs> that sounds irrational, doesn't it? Osborne's got the footy, he's on the wing. He's been a handy player who belies his stats as well. The half board, Franklin comes up and takes the mark. Well, right now, he's a one-man band. Franklin inside the forward 50, coming at the footy down there. Edged out of it, actually, was Hodge. Coming away virtually uncontested was Hooker. Love it, Murray. Winderlich. Winderlich, the man that Nick spoke of, tackled from behind, but not before he got the hand pass away. Hurley, ambitious kick, marked in front by Gumbleton, turned the defence around. Gumbleton plays on. Lonigan runs to 50. Any score leads. Long kick, margin six points. Well, they're looking strong, aren't they? I mean, that was really just a getting it enough numbers on the end of the Franklin kick. You see that probably was not there. There's a lot of bodies actually going to the footy. I don't know how often the, uh, the uh, well, maybe you did from that angle you would. But anyway, that wasn't paid in Essendon on the surge on the way back. They had them players who were just overlapping. They got the run forward when Hawthorne didn't have the run back. Problems now for that man. Well, was it a free kick or wasn't it? Line ball. So Lonigan, who kicked the first goal of the match, mentioned then that he's kicked a goal in every game he's ever played against Hawthorne. He's now kicked six in five riders. So important in the second half. And Winderlich yet again. Bouncing ball. Love it, Murray. Takes the tackle on, gets the kick away. Gillam under pressure by Zaharakis. Hawking brought down in the tackle. And then rolling it over the line, Young. Down to you, Richo. Well, Franklin's obviously the man. He looks really confident. He looks like winning every contest. The Hawks have just got to try and get it in there a little bit quicker. Last time he was one out and they took too long to get it into him. And I keep thinking of Hodge because we've seen him so important in this situation in fourth quarters for the Hawks, but he just doesn't feel like he can play a part tonight. Well, he's, he's now playing permanent forward third, so either he might be a bit sore and they're just trying to use him. Because they sort of not use usually his best really midfield yeah. or behind the footy. Nobody forward at the centre for the Hawks. Mitchell did well twice or did he? Puts it out of bounds on the full. The smother was great. The kick there, a bit too much on it. Slattery's got the ball. Essendon have got the lead. Slattery goes short. Wendelik working hard, coming up for his 28th possession. Wendelik forward at the wing. Just lobs it inside the forward 50. Hurley got a contest. Zaharakis the crumb. Love it. Murray in the pocket. Snaps it down towards the kickoff line. Missed in front by Shawan Marcus. Gets a hand pass away to Ellis. Under pressure. Kicks it outside the defence at 50. Good talk. Lewis called his teammate Burgoyne out. Kicks it up towards the wing. Buddy Franklin goes back. Advantage is paid. It's a one-man fat pass. He's away. Running down towards the 50. Can he do it again? Man running back towards the goal square. Needs to be closer. Oh. He can't bounce it through. He kicks it through on the ball. Franklin, five goals. Uh. And they're all the same. This has been the way he's done it tonight. Got upfield. As I said, we've said all night, Hook has been good in the contest in the air. But as soon as the ball went over the back, and Franklin has now got the footy. Hook is one yard behind. I 
reckon Franklin could have run another 100 metres and he still would have been, he would have been five metres behind by then. If you watch him here, he actually goes closer to the boundary line again and backs his ability. That is extraordinary football. He's got that natural right to left kicking action, so he knows if he gets it to right goal pucks, it'll just swing <laughs> back, which is... Uh, That's as good as goals I've ever seen. Rip, well, the there you go. Through yeah. That was in the air, but exactly the same as the previous run five minutes ago. It, it just kept... He's kicked goal of the year twice. Richo, he gave you Winburn going past. I'll tell you what, the crowd's going mad down here. I've seen both those goals right behind them. They're two of the best goals, goals you'll see from a big bloke. They're amazing. Straight up. Well, he's carried the football both times 100 metres at least, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, well Richo picked it a treat. He, he, he said, watching him on the ground, he's got that confidence about him. So you don't try those sorts of kicks when you're low on confidence. He's picked it up a treat. Third match in a row against the Bombers. He's kicked five. We know he's kicked nine twice against them. He's now kicked 37 goals in his last six matches against them. The Bombers are his bunnies. Well, wow. <laughs> It's hard to know, it's an excellent place, but they know him. Who was that masked man? It was Cyril's. Come on, Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs> Great contest. We've seen him pickpocket enough, bloke, Cyril, haven't we? Here's Atkinson getting it from Jenner. Line, line. Control Come kick. On. Back to Watson, and Watson's kicked the goal. It's goal for goal. It's a beauty. <laughs> Well, it is a contest, isn't it? It's yep. a fantastic game now. The game's all about, I think, the two the two statistics of the contested possession and clearances, which is great because we've seen a lot of games this year where those stats haven't necessarily translated to the result on the game. But this game has ebbed and flowed with the side that's won the ball in the contest, and the Bombers are all over the Hawks at the moment. And that's how they actually got the job done in round six when they overran the Hawks. What a game it is. Six points the difference. You don't see Watson charge into the forward line no. as they overlap target. So that was a great second effort goal. It's interesting the football we see these days too. It's probably not a time to editorialise, but when the players get a bit of fatigue and the game breaks open, we see some wonderful last quarters. Robert Murray tracks it out towards the wing. Head down, did he duck into that one? Young goes over the top. Umpire lets them play, holding the ball. Wow. That compounds the, the marks, disgust please. of the Essendon supporters. Go. Young's got the football. I would kick it to Franklin. And now what have we got? Franklin's free. Is it a 50? Oh, don't have to kick it to him. What's the greatest advantage? The mark. I think this is the greatest advantage here. Yeah, I think Buddy the having the ball is the greatest advantage. That's okay. it. When he's going to lead, you can't grab him. Yes. If he's going to lead, you cannot hold him. You cannot hold. He's, in, he's entitled to contest the footy. That's the line. Well, that's confidence. You know, when you're playing on a play like Buddy Franklin, the form he's in, immediately he gravitates you direct to punch. Yeah, look at Mustard. Mustard's getting there to, uh, to block. Shouldn't laugh. It's good fitter. Franklin. Too easy. Yeah, too Didn't easy interest now. him. <laughs> he kicks it behind. Not enough for Five challenge. Five points. Yeah, that's right. Five points the difference. Richo. You could have almost predicted he was going to get a free kick then, buddy. His opponent's that worried about him on the run. He just had, was always going to hold on to him. It's a good point to make him have a set shot, isn't it? Target was probably Gumbleton. Mm. Handball by Hooker. Here is Franklin, but he's running the wrong way for once. All those running bounces in this last quarter. Hodge from Still Stratton. Good kick, Hodge. But well done, cut off. You feel like Franklin's... The one chance Hawthorne have got at this very minute, don't you? No other forwards no. that really are looking dangerous. I mean, this one. even Rioli's disappeared from the game. And Ruffett's nowhere to be seen at the moment. He's just as dangerous in a stoppage here. He's likely to get on the ball. Hodge in hard. Free kick. Do one from Shane Hawthorne's go, point go, of view where go. they should put Hodge. Forget about Back the Mustard and on Fletcher matchup for the time being and try and get Ruffett in deep and see if they can find another forward. So Watson. Wonderful game from Watson. To love it, Murray. Gee, very careful kick, important play. Young was terrific. Rinderlich's been wonderful. Back to love it, Murray. And then Welsh had to tap it forward and then fetches it himself to Rinderlich. Stopped and propped. Did the right thing. Well played. Not sure who said it, but when Rinderlich ran out tonight and saw the boots, they said, 
I think it might have been you, Tom. He said, you better play a good game. Well, he's done just that. <laughs> Got to back up your boots. <laughs> Down to Melksham. It was Nick. It wasn't me. Oh, Nick Maxwell, OK. <laughs> he's a very good judge. They need Rioli. Three possessions since half-time, Rioli. Melksham, long down towards full forward. Big pack. Fisted away down there by Stratton. Gathered by Young. Kicks it towards half-back. Awkward bouncing ball. Franklin picks it up. Brushes aside friend and foe. Gave it across towards Osborne. Kicks it up towards the wing. Gathered by Fletcher. Oh, not the spot for it. Franklin gives a contest. Burgoyne the crumb. They've got more numbers now. Running back rough head. Really sighted tonight. Atkinson has to stay on his feet. Had to stay on his feet a second time. Roughhead picks it up and misses. He just didn't know that Atkinson was five metres away. He probably just felt that Atkinson was right on him. He absolutely rushed himself, Roughhead, didn't he? Oh. Foot was on the line. Foot was on and over the line. Do you think of the Mitchell miss and the Roughhead miss in the last yeah. half? And a couple of these for the Bombers. Well, the first one didn't cost them. Let's see what happens here. Where's Rioli? Where's Franklin? Fletcher's on Franklin yep. at the Looks moment. Looks like he is. I'll be getting goal side, I reckon. <laughs> Bell Chambers wrestling. Lonigan's had it a long, long time. Where's that footy? It's hard to find Ruffy. Back to Lewis. Oh, oh good tackle. Stanton, an unlikely oh. hero. High tackle. Love it, Murray. Prismal. Hawking. Bad bounce. Prismal fetched his own ball. Got a beat to it. That was clever. They must have taught him that at Geelong. Against the Jetta from Hurley. And Jetta's Here on. we go. He could do a bunny. Three bounces. Gillen won't get him. Now steady Eddie. Kicks oh. it back inside. Bill Ch uh, no, uh, rather Gumbledon couldn't quite. And Guerra. And we catch our breath for oh. a moment. Poor old Leroy there at the end. He was like a long jumper who couldn't reach the sand. It's a great yeah. block by Davey off the ball too. Hit G Gillum's hurt here. Gillum. Is that his first possession? Hurley's got it. Spirals it. Can he get it to Jenna? <laughs> Juggles it behind. Open goal square. This will run on. But the wrong side of the opening through for a minor score. Richard. Yeah, it looks like Chance Bateman, he's come off, he's in trouble. I think they might be taking him uh, down to the rooms. He's walking around the boundary, but he's definitely in a bit of strife at the moment. It's all hands on deck, isn't it? So every one of those is a, is a blow, even this late. There he is, Bateman. So Hodge the target. It's been a mysterious night for Hodge, hasn't it? I mean, we talk so much about him going in. He's had the knee problems. Just no impact on this match so far. Kicks to centre wing, Franklin the target, Renoff taken by Osborne and then going down the line. That's Buddy's wing, isn't it? It'll be a boundary throw in. Two unforgettable runs by Franklin in this final term. This great ground has seen some wonderful sporting theatre over the years, but those two Franklin running goals, they don't get much better than that. No, Phil Manassa would be at home applauding. Opportunity coming through, Burgoyne. Taken by Berg on his second time. Snaps inside the forward 50. Going back with the flight of it. And missed down there by Ladson initially. Rioli, uncharacteristic fumble. Well worked. Stanton, Windelec. Station just pops it around the corner. Atkinson, brilliantly done. Fought off all borders out there and found Stanton in space. Stanton times the release, goes to Prismal. He's had a good night, Prismal, the half forward. Mark is taken by McVeigh. McVeigh looks down towards full forward. Lead comes from Jenner, deep in the pocket. He spilled it. Oh, gee. Now, Bruce, you've got a, a great statistic about scoring over 80 points against the Hawks. Yeah, in the last 22 occasions, a team scored over 80, they've won 18. Under 80, they're 1 out of 12, so it's been the measurement, 80 points, and right now, the Bombers are in that territory at 86. Oh, big flyer mark by Osborne. That's better than any stat. <laughs> out wide. Just didn't touch the ground. The legs had it, that's fine. So the skipper's got it. Way down the line, good kick. He's been a pest muster tonight, hasn't he? He's done his job so far. Two first half goals to Renoff. We've got Fletcher on Franklin now down in the Hawks forward 50. Here we go, one on one. 
So Buddy versus Dustin, oh. Fletcher whip over the top, and the ball eluding Franklin, and a boundary throw in. I tell him certain Fletcher will make sure he'll, he'll concede if Ruffett's going to go upfield, but he will not let him back behind. That'll be his whole method. What a quarter it's been. One for the time capsule, this one. Tossed in, Ryder decisively thumps it wide, taken by Lonigan. Back to Fletcher. Hawks trail by five. But they've got the football. Right half forward. Hodge centering kick. Sewell. He would be about 70 metres from goal. Where's Franklin? That's where the interest is. He's dropping back towards the square. Need to buy him some space. He works in front. Big pack. Ryder. Osborne deep in the pocket. Kicks it behind. The other, the other great thing about Fletcher going to Franklin is Franklin's going to have to actually put some time into him defensively, um, which is probably he hasn't had to do that all night. See, these kickings become important now. Stanton has lifted since half time. Bateman did a terrific job on him. Now Stanton to himself, and then Bell Chambers the target. That's a good result for the Bombers if it goes out of play. No, Rioli got back to Saul in close quarters to Rioli. He's so good in, in tight. Back to Birchall. Birchall tucked it under the arm. Good oh. kick inside of Dunwell here. Mitchell wanted 50. And then off one step to fall forward. Franklin front spot. Fletcher well done. Burgoyne searching. Lonigan, oh. good tackle. Burgoyne with Lonigan. And then Davey, does he win a free? Mitchell over the top of it with Davey. Which way does it go? Ball up. Great footy by both teams. I don't have to disagree with you. One thing there, Tom, I don't think Buddy's thinking any defence at no. the moment. I think he's thinking, how do I get the ball to kick a goal? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he's thinking. Bombers by four points, still an eternity. Six and a half minutes to go. Can't go long enough as far as the supporters are concerned. Well, at least the neutral supporters. What a spectacle. Guerra, Ladson, down towards full force. Well, there's plenty of Hawks there. Mustard out of midair. He's got three. The nuisance. Well, that stoppage at half forward. Then Mustard found himself free for the whole time. So there's obviously a breakdown in communication between the Essendon defenders. Um, just we'll just see him there, just at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Uh, Fletcher's obviously gone to Franklin. Great contest here by Guerra. Strength in the contest, Ladson, and there we go. Bo Mustin pops up and Hawks outnumbering the forward 50, which is a real luxury. Bad place to have three fours versus one defender. <laughs> Almost had to do a double check to see which part of the ground it was in, but uh, he's been really valuable tonight by Mustin. He's had the, only the six possessions, but uh, three goals have provided great forward structure for the Hawks. He'd never kicked more than a goal in any single game. Didn't play in 06, 07, 08 because of injuries, Mustard. Nice, yeah. He was recruited at the end of 05. It's a good story. He's kicked three tonight. And more importantly, he's put Hawthorne back in front in a classic final term here at the MCG between two arch rivals that don't like each other at all. And they're playing like that right now. And the stakes couldn't be higher. Saul in there, love it, Murray to Welsh. Rioli, brilliant tackle, and now wants it back. Rough head, back he goes to Birchall on the right side for him. Buddy's in the frame. Bouncing ball, Hooker gets it forward. Ellis, Franklin Shaw, over the top, Fletcher. It was a good play. He's back on Mustard now. Yeah, I think he only went on to Franklin well, uh, Hooker had a little bit of a spell for a few minutes. I think Buddy thought that was intended for him and wasn't quite aware there were men coming up on the lead. He had a lot of courage. He's probably entitled to think the ball's intended for him at the moment. <laughs> yeah, he owns it. Melcham has improved. He's been terrific. The longer the game has gone, Prismal out of bounds on the full. Prismal up to 27 possessions now. Birchall told to play on inside the forward 50. Now Franklin stays off. Oh, just needed a lucky bounce. He would have been through. Ellis Lewis. It's a goal. He's kicked a goal. Remarkable. Boy, what about these grabbing goals? Haven't we seen yeah. a few of those tonight? There's been about six that have bounced through the first couple early on. It's just seen some great highlights tonight. We've seen some unbelievable goals. We saw Surioli's one-handed Mark Milton's hanger, Osborne's hanger. Franklin's goals, and this is just as good as any of them. Get a good view on that. That's a goal.
at the inside 50s a little while ago and they were about even. Now Hawthorne yeah. are uh, a seven in front. They've just dominated this last five minutes. They've Lead. played in their forward half. They've had 10 of the last 13 inside yep. 50s, yep. Hawthorne. Yep. Starting to gain ascendancy through the clearances again after losing it uh, for a while there with the Bombers. Well, that footy just eluded a couple of Bombers. So Watson, who lifted them with the last goal 13 minutes ago. Melsham forward. Davy and Murphy talked a lot about that. Melsham on the half volley. Well played, Murphy to Mitchell. Have they weathered the storm? Mitchell, good kick. Bob. Well, he's given it to a good bloke too. Rioli takes off. Short to Saul. You saw the strain on Alistair Clarkson's face a couple of minutes ago. What this would mean to Hawthorne. Kicks to half forward. Renneth, good mark. It was a lovely kick coming in actually by Saul. Paddy Ryder needs to work just a little bit stronger defensively there. Uh, Renouf got away from him too easily. I think he's out in his feet though, don't you? Yep. Yeah. 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 So it's a big result, but the 7 6 if Hawthorne win, and if, if Eston lose 5 for Eston, that, yeah. I mean, that uh, consolidates Hawthorne, makes it really hard for Eston. So Renouf, 52, 53 metres out. He struck it really well. It's a behind. <laughs> Well, only, Lee, only one team has ever made the finals from one win in their first seven. That was Fitzroy a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. That's what Hawthorne's trying to do this year. So the margin, Here. nine points. You see the time remaining. Fletcher straight up the middle now. Time of the essence suddenly. Watson runs into a dead end. Guerra, his strength in the last quarter has been very important. Lewis, no magic there. That was a very untidy kick. Neither one thing nor the other, just You're kicked it to Piers. Piers goes short, taken by Slattery. He's a left half back, just over three and a half minutes remaining. Crowded fever pitch, it's been a wonderful game. And this last quarter simply exhilarating. Winderlick tried so hard, nothing doing there. Lovett Murray escorted across the boundary. And the Hawks fans on their feet. He hasn't had a good night, Hodge, but he's now trying to drive back behind the footy. That's mm. where his directs play really well. Here he is, Lee, speaking of him. Delivering inside. Oh, he's found Franklin. We saw last, I was going to say, we saw last Friday Lindsay Thomas have almost the complete game as a yeah. forward, and Buddy's done, done the same. Yeah, almost the same type of game, even yeah. the different size and shapes. Yep. Understand. Hook is cramping badly as this uh, kick's been taken. He has never run so much in his life. Well, we saw Lovett Murray running behind then, and he was cramping too. He was running and cramping. Well, I guess the beauty is that there's no next week. The players have a, ha players have a, have a week off, so the coaches won't be too concerned running the players into the ground. Well, Buddy's kicked five a few times this year, but he hasn't kicked six in a match, and that one won't do the job. But uh, for a lot of this last quarter, he actually kept Hawthorne in it when the things were going against them with those two long-running goals. Are they safe? Well, maybe this play from fullback will tell that tale. They need a goal now, Essendon. Pretty much it. There's the kick short of the wing. Watson sensing it, launched himself. It comes to Hooker. Some tentative steps stolen away by Young. Young with pace. Could almost sink them here. He sends a goal ward about five metres out. Socket off the ground by Fletcher towards the outer side. Leading back in the race is Pears. Buddy virtually going up and down on the spot. Muston threw the body at it. On the outer side, Mitchell gets back. The skipper picks it up. Just pops it across his body. Taken by Birchall. Spots a man towards the pocket. Osborne. He's been good tonight. He's been terrific. From start to finish, he's a hard man. He's up to 22 possessions. Get a situation here where you don't want a point. You almost want to, I don't know, mm. you know, a throw in or a goal. But a point gives the Essendon a chance to attack when he's on acute angles. That'll be running through his mind, I suspect. Clock continues to run. 20 seconds gone, boy. People talk about set shots, but it depends where you take them from. Osborne, about three metres in from the boundary. Well, come at the yard. Come at the man. Michael Osborne celebrates a Hawthorne victory. Well, whatever their last quarter stats were going into the game, they uh, have turned the momentum of the game. And they've decided that, uh, well, if they kick the last four goals, is that about the state of affairs? Which is not insignificant given that Hawthorne have had a much documented break in their pre-season and preparation the fact that they've won this quarter run the game out well it's probably a good signal that their list is starting to become more healthy good sign going into the second half 
terrific game, Osborne, and that's the icing of they had the last six scoring shots all Yeah. And we saw the feel, we saw the look in his face when he hit it, and he virtually knew yeah. from the time it left his boot that was going to go through. So the Hawks looking at six wins in a row. Geelong have got the big streak going this year at seven, but no one else has done better than that from Hawthorne's point of view. What a terrific turnaround after losing six in a row. Guerra to Skipper to Lovett Murray on the up to Winderlich to Pears to Jetta. He's had an almost night, Jetta, hasn't he? Mm. He's looked dangerous, but not a whole lot's happened. Prismal back inside. Osborne got it from Birchall, off one step, good mark, Renoff a couple of times he's done that in the last quarter, getting forward. Let's get it in. Get it in. <laughs> but he wants it over the top now. And Renoff's going to set it up for Franklin. Fletcher with him. And oh. out. So, what about Fletcher? 324 games, that equals Scott West, but... More appropriately tonight, it equals Paul Salmon. 324, Salmon, 100 for Hawthorne and 224 for the Bombers. Buddy Franklin, 25 possessions, a career high tonight. We've seen something special from a real special player. Rioli taken down, ball up. Franklin with five goals, four, but a couple of unforgettable runs. When they talk about runs of the MCG, <laughs> they'll talk about Buddy Franklin. Bob Carper. Just looking on, Rioli, Franklin again, make that 26, adding to his personal best. Lewis has been very good too, Renoff. I'm not sure they haven't got their two best big men playing at the present time. Lewis dives after it, Winderlet, Siren, any time now. Jetta oblivious to that, Hocking, Essendon again, Pears run down, fitting it should end that way. The pressure, the chaos, the sweet sound of success 102 to 86 Hawthorne six straight on the back of Buddy Franklin's career best night so they've turned this season around it was just a great contest here at the MCG more than 54,000 in the end saw Hawthorne win 102 to Essendon 86 on Friday Night Footy Big. This has been a Fox Sports presentation.